Okay, everyone, this is the crossover catch up. This is the one where we finally have a crossover to catch up that is Death Battle related. I am joined here by my usual co hosts, Mr. Beast and Dexter Morgan. Say hello. No. Fucking wait to the lag time, the input lag on that. Jesus Christ. Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Thanks, Dexter. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> Oh, he spoiled it, Red. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's another guy yeah, here. Um... Who's this? <laughs> da, uh, da, it's, da, da. It, it's, it's Green Gallop. You, you should have um... used the one that I named. Oh, right. That, mm, damn, what was the one you named? <laughs> I uh, forget. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna let you friend. just going to let you look through your files quickly. <laughs> I don't label uh, them based off who named them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> was it not Bronze Blitzer? It probably was. Yeah. We're gonna say it was Bronze Blitzer. <laughs> I'm Bronze Blitzer, guys. <laughs> We're okay. joining with Bronze Blitzer. Uh, he's joining us from America. Uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Just America in general, all of it. He has a company. He is like a. Both he has acquired its biomass, and I'm I'm taking over it. the country. I I think this is going to be a benefit to all. He is an analog horror villain. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh, Brom Blitzer versus Richard Nixon. That's our matchup. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but in the meantime, okay, there is a song out of my head. Scaling. You just said the name, and I can't forget the song. Uh, so anyway, um, there's important <laughs> stuff to talk about. Um, most importantly, the revival of Cartoon Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> it's back. The versus show. <laughs> That's right. We are getting YouTube Hoops versus Composite Among Us. We It is going to go so hard. We're all excited for it. I'm hoping Sans wins. Oh, I, oh my God. I'm so excited, dude. Um, but, and, you know, less important news, Death Battle. Death Battle is back. <laughs> you know this, even if you, like, don't keep up with Death Battle and you only keep up with this channel for some fucking reason. Even if you, you know have this. been dead for the last year and just resurrected, you then know. Good news. Oh, welcome this much. Uh, welcome back. The season's been going slow. Welcome back to the land of, welcome back to the land of the living. You really should have prioritized your time better. <laughs> yeah, but... you could have waited another century or two, and I think it might have been a better choice. You would have had a bigger battle, uh, you know. But, you know, you would have had maybe uh, something interesting going on in the outside world. I mean, like this guy, <laughs> this guy's probably red by that point. But otherwise, you know, um, yeah. so I just consider that extra spice. All right. Uh... So I don't we, know. yeah, there's there's a there's a lot that happened. So, I love so how the death. last the last uh the last recording session was like green, yeah, green. whatever that means. Fucking YouTube was like, green. I wonder what it was, and I was like, it's going to be a Kickstarter. It's going to be a Kickstarter, and YouTube was like, I'm not sure about <laughs> that, and I went, I am sure about that. <laughs> and look I, who I, was right. In my me. in my defense, in was, my. In my defense, in my defense, hear me out. Um, yes, in your Hyper defense, likes you to be a little wrong anyway. Hyper so likes not that weird. No, listen, hype. First of all, first of all, no, I humored the idea. Listen, Hyper was the <laughs> one who said, Hyper was just like the one, guys, shut up. You guys got suffering into every single little thing. Guys, shut up, shut up. Because, you know, he's a <laughs> it was mod. I, for... It was either a Kickstarter or it was uh, just green light in general. And Kickstarter was, was always going to be the more interesting fucking answer. Hex code. For the color of Kickstarter! <laughs> Do you know how many goddamn hex codes there are? I remember when someone said, no, that was just a mistake. Uh, that was by coincidence. I think, I think it's like 37. That's my guess. Final answer. Shut up, guest star. <laughs> so anyways, what they revealed. Um, I've so... already talked about this publicly, except for one. But like, we'll get uh, yes, um, Nemesis yeah. is shilling again on his own channel for another video on want, his own want, channel. If you want more, you like, grifter. I, I, guess, I guess we can give our thoughts. Commentary, you can go to that video. <laughs> uh, so if I'm, try if I'm like a little less explicit about how I feel about all these matchups, that's because I've already talked about it, so I'm going to let these guys pop off a bit. Except Gumball, stuff him. 
Wanker. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's 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 go down the list. First off, Bardock versus Omni Man and Bowder, Bowser versus Bowder. Eggman. Bowder. 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 Hey, hey, Luigi, look, it's from Bowder. Dear pesky plumbers, I have planted a bomb uh, inside right, your all house. All right, all right. Okay. All right. He gets tons of multi plus scaling. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Omni Dog. And you, and you gotta scale us. <laughs> Omni Dog, surprise, because. Omni Man. We just got Omni Man. Again, basically. Omni Man twice before any invincible reps. <laughs> All right, so um, rep. you know what he means. You yeah, know what he before means. Before any others, I mean, I mean, I mean, guys, we could, though, we could have gone. Literally after Omni Man Homeland had dropped, one of the first things I saw was people going, "Cool, can he come back for a real fight?" <laughs> then, I, I, I understand that. I, I still enjoyed it, but I understand that. But it also, it would have been, it would have been really, really funny if it was. Guys, if the show's called Invincible, if the show's yeah, called yeah. Invincible, then how did then how did fourteen million people see the first episode? Mm. But uh, it would have been really they funny if it was Gohan versus Mark. It would have been really funny if it was. All right, so like, Clown. I will Wait. be explicit. I will be explicit because like, no matter what my thoughts are on all of these matchups, I'm happy that Death Battle is back, and I'm going to let them cook. This is purely on a matchup basis and not on a basis of what I'm judging Death Battle on. You don't like it, say this it. Is a, this is a dangerously long preface. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, this is my least one to match up on the show. This is the one I was actively dreading this whole time. <laughs> Your Frieza versus Megatron. Yes. Ah. Now, I'm so, I have suffered Dragon Ball burnout and partially because of Death Battle. I think... Um, Vegeta versus Gogeta was the melting point for me to the point where I just felt numb. And, well, we have our second Corrin, if I can make an uh, equivalency. <laughs> but, again... I like how you called it a melting point instead of a tipping point. Uh, uh, that's because my internal organs have now melted. I think I can feel my spleen inside my lungs, or the inverse. I do not know. He's heard Green Latin jokes so much he can't. Use I heard a, I, I, I heard an ambulance in the background. That was perfect timing. That was my. That was my cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was your cat. That's my bad. Uh, don't ask what happened to my neighbor. <laughs> Look, I'm just. I'm just do saying. Not I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway. Um, time for some positives now. Um, I'm really excited to see the great ape. I like the background you? details. Everything, the visuals are really striking me. Um, almost as much as Nolan is striking the back of Bardock's head. So not at all. Uh, it looks like he's about to miss. And yeah, uh, it, it is. Uh, oh honest. no. Now Bardock's turning. Yeah. At, at best, he's going to punch him in the side of the face. So it's not hitting you at all. Based on that. <laughs> no, no. Phrase. On the... No, Omni-Man's Omni -Man, gonna hit him, don't worry, don't worry. In the side of the head, yeah. He's turning to look at him. Uh, I, I think... I think I miss killing Homelander. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright, anyway, um... Yeah, um, so... Even though this is, like, my least wanted matchup, I am still really excited because that's what Artemis cooks. He and his people probably have... A, a set of expectations here and they're obviously being met with a great ape being shown off it means that we're finally going to get something if that, if that new moon, for if that moon doesn't get destroyed i'm going to be just genuinely miffed just fed I, 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 speaking I, up he either, uh, we, we can i either want him to punch the moon to want, death but... or i want him to throw the moon at bardock and force bardock to destroy it himself that might be too cold for him to do. Like, I know it's Omni-Man, but that making the guy blow up his own advantage, that might be a bit too cold. Uh, but I think <laughs> but it'd be I sick. made it be But that's the moon I made because I'm a brilliant scientist. You're a brilliant fucking moron. <laughs> Wait, what was Listen, I really want to make a piss joke. Just, well, just right, do it, then. <laughs> just do it. Just, just spray it everywhere if you want. Come on. <laughs> so yeah, the other matchup is Eggman versus Bowser. 
for the first um, uh, two reveals. Yeah, right, this, I'm and still this stuck is, on that TIE Fighter. Why has he got a TIE Fighter? How's that going to help him? Why is it so big? It's a giant ass TIE Fighter. <laughs> uh, maybe he's just like, yo, probably, I might need some help on this Bowser guy. Oh my god, like, wait, that I don't like the way he's dressed. <laughs> that death battle. That... <laughs> uh, Bowser's but... a bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Palpatine runs over to Bowser's research and he sees his scaling and he changes it. Limited power! Gives him solar system level peak. The winner is Eggman. Uh, oh my god. Uh, you know, Bowser anyway, Eggman's so... Um... so I, want, I want to talk about this one a little bit. Uh, Bowser Eggman's ridiculously hyped for a lot of people. I like it a lot. I don't like it as much as most of the community, but I still think it's really hyper feel, especially with Moro just doing it as a full hand-drawn army battle like what <laughs> so there was a point being a full time. army battle is crazy yeah that's that's insane um uh, no, i can't wait for you're not allowed to like bowser versus eggman they'll never make it into an army battle bro i can't <laughs> wait i can't wait for king babam to just like make a heroic sacrifice to take out i don't know the fucking six scrambled baddies or mania or whatever or their names are you know <laughs> If I can give the quick uh, worry that I have out the gate, uh -oh. uh, I don't even know if worry is the right word, but they show off the little uh, face-off between the armies in the work in progress. There is not a single named Eggman robot on his side. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Yet. I love Eggman. I love Eggman Bro. robot number three. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> The fucking Dude, robots I want, from the movies want are in there. That's so weird. No, no, hear me out. I want, to, I want them to be fighting. They're going to do an epic clash, but then the camera cuts to, like, up in the sky. Squid. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think they would do that? Because that would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be I don't know if I would expect them to do that. But they're I not going to do that, but that would be fucking great. Just that, just that jump scare, especially if, if they do the thing where it just, like, it just, it's looking the other way, and it, like, light speed turns to face the camera, like, ah! <laughs> also, you said they had the robots from the movies. Do you mean the blue ones up front? No, like the little, little, little egg, the, the ones that look like eggs. All right, so, like, Flying place eggs. your bets. We already know who, we already know who's going to win, but it's hey, Bowser sure Jr. Huh? All right. So, oh, wait. All right. Am I just uh, make, your, make your boats. Oats. Make your make Are they your going boats, to use Steven. any of the Titans? No, no, no. That's not what I mean. That's not yep. what I mean. Um, oh, yeah, right then. here, right here. Set up, set up a poll in the comment section. Should Bowser Jr. live or die? We're going to Jason Todd this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, and imagine, just just to a elaborate a dramatic, bit. like heartbreaking sacrifice where Bowser Jr. gives his life for Bowser, and that's what turns him into Fury Bowser. He's like, you fucking killed my no, son. Dude. <laughs> you egg no, dude. No, dude. Pissed like, on the moon. Bowser I'll piss on you, dickhead. <laughs> no, Bowser, yeah, Bowser obviously, Jr. just to just to elaborate a little bit, yeah, you have Bowser Jr. of King Babam, the King Goomba. I forget if he has a special name. King Boo, uh, all these unique Mario creatures. You you don't even have Sage hanging out anywhere. Uh, that's why I think Bro, it's it just, going to be it is just come to my Titan. it is just come to my oh, so it think, is just come to my attention. Goombas. All right, anyway, Goombas, okay. red, red. You just, when you say all these names out loud, did Bowser just fucking de invite the entire United Nations? <laughs> okay, King Boo is probably the weirdest one to be here. I, I'm pretty sure they are not directly affiliated with each other normally. But other just, than that... <laughs> just the Mr. Incredible image. You are not affiliated with me. <laughs> I, 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 I genuinely feel like there's a good chance that Sage is going to be there in the body of a Titan. Like she's she's not I can in see it. the image at all, and I feel like uh the thing is there's no way you'd ever put a titan in that shot and like have it be in scale, unless it was in the far background as a like a three D model, in which case yeah of course it's not going to be there because it's unfinished, and um, especially next to the dragoon because the dragoon already commands so much attention on yeah. that side of the maybe screen. that's why there's no name uh, things on eggman's side because he's just like i mean look look what i got this is me little man <laughs> i'm glad it's the dragoon <laughs> not the fucking 
death egg dickhead again. Yeah, that one's yeah. always used a lot. I I think that's a great choice. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait. The Dragoon was always cooler, but they started using it so much in Sonic, you know? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I, wait, Red. We never back... Red, um, when we wrote um, that really old um, Eggman Wily rematch, I think we had the choice of Eggman using the Dragoon as well, right? I of... don't remember. Um, <laughs> it wasn't um, I don't remember. <laughs> For you, it was the most <laughs> was important all thing you ever way. wrote. For him, it was episode seven. Dude, I can't. <laughs> dude, I can't wait for. There is one thing I want out of this, and it is something consistent with Eggman versus Wily. I want Mega Sonic to eat shit, <laughs> to not contribute anything at all. Uh, the only thing I really recall from that old script is the way we used the metal virus. Oh yeah, like. Like, for a little bit, Eggman was just like, I'll do my bidding, and Wily just, like, struggles to lift up Rubble, and he's just like, okay, this isn't working. He just nukes the entire place at the end. That was the first <laughs> giant radish at everyone. Uh, just, um, he, he, he might. He just plucks it out the ground. He might. Uh, he just, he no, 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 no. His Hotel Mario lightning conjuring powers. <laughs> what, what, does, what does he conjure out? Does he just lightning. conjure out the... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, right, Kamek. I forgot Kamek is there, too. Yeah, Kamek's there, too. <laughs> dude, dude, I can't wait. I can't wait for Eggman to be like, hey, you, get off my cloud. And he evaporates the entire army. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I want to move this along. Um, who do you think is yeah, going to win fair. each of the, uh, those uh, two? Who do you think is going to win? I mean, that's... Bardock is probably going to win his. I, uh, they gave, I feel... they, they're giving him Dragon Ball. They're, they're giving him Dragon Ball Super. It's I do over, feel man. like they're going... Oh, the thing is, I, I've heard a lot of stuff about the Super Scaling being really weird. But I think I think they're going to give him, like the Toei scaling. So, Bardock wipe those like King Vegeta wiping out three planets and then upscale Ozaru and Super Saiyan from that and be like, there you go, there's Bardock. Good luck, Nolan. And I just I just feel like the <laughs> argument of well before Bardock uh hits him or boosts or like even increases his key, uh, to a level where Om Omni Man can't even be near him, he's definitely going to throw Bardock into space or blow up the planet. That's what he always does. He's definitely not going to fly into Bardock <laughs> and splatter on impact the way characters in Invincible tend to do. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, Bowser for, for Bowser versus Eggman. That one, I see a lot of back and forth for people to say on. Ba Bowser, oh, yeah, Bowser's going to win the like episode, but easy. I don't think... My, 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 hun my hunch is Bowser's going to win, but I know that Bowser one. I'm feeling Bowser. Bowser's going to win. Bowser's going to win the episode, but I don't think I'll agree with that. Um, I don't want to elaborate as to why right now, because I'm not built for it. The comments oh, are going to eat me, fun blame me. Um, this is not my fight. Yep. That, that one's a little bit too complicated to like Come say on, who I, I mean, what, necessarily what, what, personally what or think they, should win. They don't but, have uh, much going into it. Come on, I, I I expect Bowser to win. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next tier, uh, which was uh, 125k, which is uh, exclusive champion coins, and Liam's going to make Light vs. Colombo, but this is a bonus episode, and it's not a traditional one. And as we all have right, all so, established um, between... Big fan, that was 125,000. Between the four right, of us, so like... in what we've talked about prior, we all know that we love Light vs. Colombo, ranks number one consistently every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Anyway, um, I'm cutting through the bullshit. Light should win. Okay. There is literally, I I do not understand. Columbo. Well, listen. Light the only the only potential problem the only potential problem for Light is figuring out Columbo's name, which the sounds only stupid. Problem for until Light you find out that Columbo gets up and goes, all right, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> but no, the the only problem is, uh, yeah, Columbo's isn't likely his actual real name from what i hear i don't i don't know i don't know enough about colombo but like from what i know it's like his name is blacked out in like how police documents many of us everything and have watched hmm? all of colombo well I've i seen, don't think any I've, of us have watched all of colombo no. i've seen a couple Fantastic. episodes so in other I've words all episodes. of our opinions do not matter because in a matchup, well, of that's not necessarily true. We we've of, seen some of Columbo. In a matchup of brains, you'd need to probably see more than some of. <laughs> you could see right, some who's... of Bowser and not know that his IQ is higher than Eggman's. 
Okay, that let, let's put, it, nothing, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. It is really just... Uh, can Columbo find out who Light is? Or can Light find out who Columbo is first? That, that's That's... The long and short of it, really. I think that the Unless you want to set up a very specific don't know who Columbo setting. Is. All right, here's, here's my thing. Here's the my people thing. writing right. the show don't know who Columbo is. No, here's yeah, my thing. so how are you expecting Light to find it out? Exactly. <laughs> Do you think Light has, wait, wait. like, beyond the fourth wall in level intelligence, he can figure out things that the author never did? No, here's my... <laughs> here, here, listen. If Columbo wins, here's how it's going to go. It's going to be like... All right, I'll get out of here, but I gotta confiscate this book just in case. Um, I'll write your name in the front of it so that we know it's yours. Uh <laughs> 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 oh God, I can listen. If Liam does make it into a radio drama, like a lot of people are expecting, I can see that being the way it ends. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. It just ends, that is something like, he, he would he do. He does that. You hear in the background, <laughs> and then it just hard cut end. <laughs> <laughs> just no, they're at the hospital. Light, he dies of a heart attack. You know, it's a darn shame. <laughs> <laughs> now we're never, now we're never gonna find and who Kira is. He was our lead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Light is petty enough to just not admit it on his deathbed? Yes. Probably. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I have not seen anything close. So I just, like, I just feel that because people know Light more that they cite him more, and, like, obviously from a glance, it seems like Light seems way, way more impressive than anything Columbo has, but also I know Columbo has a lot of media and unexplored stuff that I don't think, that I don't think many people know about. So Alright, like, we, alright, listen, listen. We'll just wait. So. Um... <laughs> People overestimate. Yeah, it's people. It's so. Yeah, go ahead. People overestimate and underestimate how smart Light is. Um, my favorite example, when people were really suspicious of him to make it look like he was like a normal everyday high schooler, he was reading a porno magazine like a novel. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. That's some Kakashi energy. Mass. Masterful, masterful play. All right, we can move on to the next tier. Hyper. Alrighty, 150k. <laughs> this is the one I'm most excited for. Kratos versus Asura. Okay, one of my to big next opponents. Hyper. Put... Columbo. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no. 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 Anyways. Uh, Columbo wins. Okay, but I'm yeah, Kratos Asura was one. I have saying that this is one sided, and Asura is going to slap him up. It got second place in uh, two different polls. Yep, I, I imagine they're like, oh, people want it, let's put it there and see if they'll do it, and they did it, and... Uh, just, like, I was like, I remember, like, I was the only advocate for a while in, like, servers, and basically no one else agreed with me, and then now it's uh, just yeah. there. <laughs> it, I, it was... I, I... Have you gotten a chance to say here before that, yeah, they originally were only expecting to get, like, <laughs> that's 700, or sorry, seven, 75,000 originally was, like, yeah, we think that's achievable. 21 minutes? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, all right, that, this, this seems like, this seems like a fair thing to ask for uh... Kickstarter. In the, Kickstarter themselves cause it's just like, dude, I'm so hyped, dude. I'm so hyped for a Kickstarter account. I'm so hyped. And Ben's just like, oh. <laughs> nah, 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 yeah. But yeah, Kratos yeah. Ashura. Uh, I am, I'm very excited. Because like from just, there's so many ideas. And from the sneak peek alone, it's definitely going the direction okay, I really, so, um, really like. Nemesis, I was reading the comments when you asked about the one thing. Um, those yes. were voice lines from the game. Yes. They are, they are. Yeah, I imagine <laughs> they'll probably put in like actual ones when the episode comes out. I, just like that's probably just like a really early build or something. It's just gonna my get guess. someone to I imitate Zeus's voice and go, "Kratos, you stupid, you dumb, bro." <laughs> you, you, I'm you actually dumb. surprised to you find out that those zero are. Purpose. Uh... <laughs> I'm surprised to find out that those are uh, voice lines from the game. If that's the case, then that was probably just like a tech demo because I mean most of it is just panning across. I find it his the house. silhouette on the Kickstarter is of uh, classic Kratos. Yeah. I don't know why they. I, did that. I don't know why I noticed that, but 
I mean, like, I, I, I guess it's, I don't think it's really. I, I, I don't know. What the... I, I don't know if it's really all that deep, but at it's the same not. time, we have yeah. seen the fucking it's animation. It's a neat man. thing to notice. All right, listen, hear me out. I want, I want them to go full circle and Kratos's analysis. Have him scale the shovel knight. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't, he lost. Um, Speaking of scaling, I think Kratos is going to win that one. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm definitely citing Kratos. I think I think they'll probably like give Azura the benefit of the doubt to make him as strong. I uh, don't know about speed; uh, could not be paid to care. Uh, but uh, you know, Kratos <laughs> has all these powers, and Azura doesn't. I I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Akuma, Akuma fucked him up a little bit. I am I am <laughs> I am hoping they don't use too much of his Greek stuff in the animation. Because seeing Norse Kratos using the Greek stuff would be really fucking weird. It would. I would. I would hope it's Norse only. Like if it's like stuff. I, mean, I don't know about Norse only, but they could definitely Some limit of, like, it. Like the magic, like Poseidon's fury, like wrath fury, whatever it was called, rage. Uh, I think would be fine because that's not like a visual. That's not like a weapon that he doesn't have. That's just him summoning lightning. Um, though I guess that's even mm. less viable than his actual weapons. It's weird, because, like, the only ones from Greece that still retain their power are the fucking blades. Uh, and only one of the three Which sets Which obviously of they're two. using. Like, only one of the three <laughs> sets of blades, too, while we're at it. Um, but... Yeah, obviously they're using. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I... He's got, he's got I like, am... with our, how little Azura generally has, punch, punch with more arms, shoot lasers, fly and punch with more arms. No, my favorite think... one is him punching a projectile like he he doesn't like blast it out of his hands he punches blast and the blasts are also fists yeah i mean that's cool <laughs> hey. i don't know that in common rider zo that also happens oh my <laughs> <laughs> next segment okay uh, uh, uh 200,000 hyper star uh, requiem and higher get champion exclusive Vin- vinyl oh uh, my god <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, vinyl you music know, album. You did know how to pronounce it. I was about to say. A I vinyl mean, music did album. You not just pronounce Azra's name Ashura, which is technically more correct, but not the way it's pronounced in game. <laughs> like, just to be clear. Uh, anyway, yeah. Ar- Next Ashuras, segment. Uh, not no, no, no. Uh, appar- apparently, the vinyl music album is going to have unreleased music. Yes. yes. Which mm. I have no idea what that means, but. Well, oh, cool. it means, so, okay, let me explain. It means uh, unreleased salt music ice cream. is music that was produced but never got a public like release. <laughs> it never got made public. Listen, listen. So, uh, listen. one of it was a track that they said they were sitting on for a while, and then uh, I think I made yeah. Sparks, and I forget the other one. <laughs> um, they they added lyrics, added lyrics to, to it, it and they were like, yeah, that weren't originally there on, on the the vinyl. Dude. Uh... <laughs> So we're so we're going to get sea salt ice cream. Um, hopefully we're finally going to get that off Brandicoop remaster that everyone's been waiting for. Next segment, um, we're on the <laughs> blue hunt. I'm curious. I'm curious what that vinyl will sound or the song on the vinyl will sound like. It'll probably sound like a rap track. I'm just gonna guess. I'm just gonna straight ball it out there. Dude. Dude, it's gonna be so funny. It's like people are gonna get it, and they're gonna be like, "Where the fuck can I get a record player?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was uh, this one? Two hundred twenty-five. This is the rematch. I... Two more episodes, including a rematch yeah, that... of your choice. All back as super and high. Okay, so uh, ignore the ones shown All right. on screen because uh, I don't know. I'll probably not bother showing it on screen well, because y- y'all can fucking just go. Well, well, so. maybe not ignore, but because, <laughs> no, because no, I think these are All right, just, so these are the they're... clickbait ones. They said any episode except. Bieber Black is on the table, which means. We but at the right. same time, at, yes. at the same time, Omni-Man I will backpedal a little bit on. I will back. <laughs> I will backpedal a little bit on what you're saying there, because they did put these images in, because these were the ones they were thinking of for a rematch which themselves. Right, so. kind of any, any matchup could get a rematch. All right, but so these like were the they're... ones they thought of. All right, so there are three candidates: um, Slayer no. versus Cheat. Slayer versus no. Chief. No, no, no. You're not, not listening. You're not. Guy. You're not, not listening band. to me, Red. I'm saying there are three candidates that I think are going to be. Oh, yeah, okay. That's me. I'm Red. My mistake. Okay. Um, Slayer versus Chief. I think is the most likely one. Um, a lot yeah. of the inner circle. A lot of the inner circle wants Beyond versus 2099. Um, and Shadow Me too. 
Yeah, yeah, sh- yeah. And last but not least, um, Vegeta versus Mewtwo. <laughs> 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 but yeah, those those are the three that I see a lot. Too. Yeah, I, don't know. Yeah. I can't see I... Tifa getting the win. Um, that would be hilarious. Imagine that would be hilarious. There's no Imagine. way. There is no way that's winning. Also, All that, right, that's so... volume one, Yang. That's not volume uh, four onward, Yang. That's the classic. All right, so um, I I can tell. I think. I think um... the classic renders of Ruby characters are so weird. Looking back at them. Yeah. It's so weird okay, seeing like so... a render of Yang where her hair doesn't take up ten times the space the rest of her does. Nah, nah. It it's the faces to me. I I know you're joking, but the faces. <laughs> mm. Okay, so um. I do. I still there are some the ones... doll faces though. Uh, there are some matchups where I. This is like personal suggestions. Yeah, They're not ones I'm expecting to win. No, no. There's some other ones. Um, no, Rockna like versus Soul. Rockna versus Soul is a big one that's been on my mind lately. Um, I know Rockna versus Velvet is popular and all, but I think Guilty Gear is too big to just ignore right now. I can. I and, would probably give it a different match. I, I would say if I had I, the option, I... Guilty Gear, because and and for one, for one, like I just what has happened since that episode has come out is. Soul has gotten even stronger, and Ragnar has remained exactly the same. His win condition is uh, still to die, and just hope that Soul forgets that he's immune to the effects. Alright, so <laughs> here here is my kind of argument. Um, let's give him cross tag, because in that, uh, Hakuman and Ragnar are put in an infinite dimension to duke things out, and they just broke it. Which is funny. But That's also, still, still doesn't got. help him beat Soul. That's still not enough, man. <laughs> okay, and uh, yes, um, Crash vs. Spyro Two is probably the one I want the most, but it's not winning, I, so I I'm going like to focus on Spyro Two. I don't see it happening, but I would like to see that. Uh, you, you 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 need that Australian representation. Yeah, can. I? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, uh, Crash is. Yeah, Cra- Australian. Well, I mean, he's a fucking bandicoot. Oh yes. my god, he's a bandicoot. Uh, and yeah, even yeah, when they brought Skylanders. him into Skylanders, they what, gave him the mean, most obnoxious Australian yeah, accent. Fucking Aussie accent, mate. You're right. He is obnoxious, and I I don't really you say know. this publicly much, but I find Crash and Spiral uh, ob- obscenely obnoxious. Like I don't really mind. Hyper, hyper, I think you ignored what I said and just went on your own tirade. Oh, hold on, hyper. I did. He's not obnoxious. <laughs> he just has communication issues. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. His accent is obnoxious in Skylanders, though. I'm gonna be real with you. All right. Oh, yeah, right, I, I, I uh, want to talk about my personal. Pick. All right. No. All right. All right. All right. I have. I have one personal pick off the top of my head. That's um, already said yours. Yeah. One. You no, no, already no, no, no. said multiple. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, I personally would really want Master Chief versus Doom Guy. I know a lot of people saying, "Oh, that's probably gonna." Win. I hate that mentality. Don't say that ever. <laughs> it is. It is probably the most popular of the options, though. Uh, literally, people only, have been asking for a rematch of that one in, in for the a while. Of death battle, the only competition it ever had was Goku Superman three, Link Cloud two, and Mario Sonic two. Guess how many of those are still in the race? Yeah, <laughs> Dude, Mario versus Mario, Mario versus Sonic Three is in the race, but then Bowser versus Eggman got Bowser again. So. It's right there. Yep. Imagine, <laughs> so, imagine yeah. having so little source as a human being that you vote for Mario Sonic Three when Bowser Eggman would be right there, like three episodes before. Yeah, Master okay. Chief versus Doom Guy to me, I feel like it's just the perfect blend of like they've both gotten new stuff since the original episode. Uh, there's reason to the and I feel like there's a lot that you can improve upon from the original one because it's like it's it's also like one like okay like the oldest so like suggested one from like season I mean, one like Doom Guy, obviously Doom it's Doom decent it, obviously it's stuff. yeah it's okay, obviously so... a decent one at the time but there's a lot more things you could do like and for me personally I just want to see one where like I know there's been some episodes prior but not enough where like the main central focus is like a gun battle just. Okay, but what Full if we got on. Beast versus Goliath too, and they still got the characters wrong? <laughs> okay, <Come> so, like, <laughs> so here's don't do that here, to me. <laughs> here's an out there one. Here's an out there one. Um, Fogel versus Sekiro two. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. 
No, I, I was also, thinking... Wait, you didn't let me finish, but Crucible versus oh, yeah. uh, Energy Sword would be would be so freaking awesome, and I would that would be okay. so good. That would be so hype. All right, so this sounds stupid, but that. But but Scrooge McDuck versus Shovel Knight Two doesn't sound like the worst thing ever. You are what is wrong with you? <laughs> I I, I could hear listen. Hyper's flesh cringing from across the planet. What is no, listen? Shovel Knight got a lot of new stuff, and I want to hear a, no! I want to hear di- no 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 shut up shut up let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, I'm just gonna shut you down. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I, I want, I want to hear the rest of this. I want to hear the rest of this sentence. Oh, okay, I want to hear fine. you okay, go out. Okay, so like, in in terms of representation, I want to hear David Tennant, Scrooge McDuck. I want them to focus a lot on his story in the reboot because I think that's a really fun interpretation of the character. And that is Mag true. In spotlight. That is true. Uh, Ducktales new got. Plenty of new popular stuff. Uh, counter uh, but at the same time, matchup. just any of them. Uh, you could, you could people you could, like Scrooge like... versus Crabs and Shovel Knight versus Shantae. Wait, like, let's okay. Scrooge versus Crabs. Now here's, here's, my, here's, my, here's, my, uh, here's my other reason. <laughs> um, Shovel Knight versus Shantae has drained me more than any other matchup in this community, even more no, Sword no, versus no, LeBron. No, 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 no. What about no, Shovel no, Knight no, versus Common no. Rider Knight? Okay, I'll, I'll take Red, that. Whatever. What's your pick? I mean, probably Chief versus Slayer as well. Um, You're awesome. I would probably also. I, I genuinely. Slayer. Yeah. Um. Mewtwo versus um, Shadow. I wouldn't totally hate. I, I kind of want another Shadow run back, but uh, I, I, obviously I, um, we're gonna talk about the one I actually want. I would like. I would like Mewtwo <laughs> Shadow problems. Um. If Shadow's gonna come back, I don't want him to fight another like a guy he's already fought before. Uh, I also yeah, am very also much cool. on the Mewtwo Black Wall Greymon hype train, and I, I know DJ would really like to, if he has the opportunity, refine what he set up with the Battle Royale and just make it better. Um, and I would also be interested to see if they just go all the way with Mewtwo scaling to give him a chance, because that would be really funny if they did that. Uh, and they actually I... made like a, a debatable sounding Pokemon Digimon episode uh that would be i I also just want to like point this out that pokemon and sonic are already in well not season but lineup already and i I don't know about having another like that's just me (laughs) yeah (laughs) all right so what if we're so what if we're all around and mob versus tatsumaki wins i'm gonna kill you I would My first care. Tatsumaki is so pointless. It just is Tatsumaki winning even harder now. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it, it, one said one time something that if you take in the way I want to take would mean that Mob is stronger. If you if you pretend that's what he said. That's listen, what he said. listen, listen, uh, listen, listen. That's what he said. All of the listen, listen, Gumbo. The majority of what you said was bad, but. If any above all else, if Ben what? versus Hal is in the running, I would do everything in my power to make sure that doesn't win. I do not <laughs> want to have would, to go through that pain again. It would just be funny that it would be the same exact episode, but they explain in explicit detail this time why Hal wins, just for nobody to listen. Exactly. <laughs> dude, dude, I can't wait. Like, the main incentive I hear is, I want to see more aliens. I want to see more aliens. They do not matter. Okay? They don't. <laughs> I want to see all these aliens that I can't mean... do anything. If you want a positive out of it, you would get to see Alien X do more, probably. You get to see I don't something. care. I don't like uh, Alien X. That's the reason. <laughs> I don't like Alien X. Fair. I am so... That's the reason Ben's reputation's ruined. Imagine, like... <laughs> no, dude, uh, dude. What they should do is so Alien, X, Alien X should have the time high moment, and Hal just grabs him by the leg and is like, uh, no, and then just beats the living shit out of him. <laughs> just, just goes only man on his arm. No, with that exact in tone in his voice... <laughs> 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 no, 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 don't say no, that. Don't, don't say no, that. Re- <laughs> do realis- real- <laughs> realistically, Alien X should. I, realistically, Alien X should but canonically remember what happened last time, right? So if Hal goes for it again, he's just like, no, <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> here's, here's another thing. Okay. There's already All another right. Lantern on this list. We'll get there. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. All right. One, one more right. thing. One more thing. Um. So, you know how um yeah, right. Ben just 10. You know how Ben 10 versus Danny Phantom was the DBX, right? 
Um, so that graphic novel that Danny Phantom got. So Shut up. I ben, know what you're going to say. It's stupid. I don't, I don't, I don't care. care. We're moving on, we're moving on immediately. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm, no, I don't no, care. I'm saying, I don't care. I'm saying, no. I'm saying, no. I'm uh, the, the, the next tier uh, is uh, 275,000. Yeah, by Luis. Is, yeah, Luis is going to make a yeah, hands on Luis, battle. That money. Ooh. And by all the right. way, if if you count all of these, I think this is going to be a different matchup from anything else that's listed here Four because because <laughs> Ash versus Yugi, uh, which yeah, we'll get to it later, but I just want to say this right now. Uh, that's going to be episode 200, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, yeah, if, no. if there wasn't that extra episode for Luis making a hand drawn battle, if there wasn't that extra episode, it would only be able to get up to 199. All right, so no, unironically, it yeah. probably is Fall Guys versus Among Us. Larry Among has put us. in so much work to make that a thing. It was part of the first batch of uh, championship matchups. I think it has a stronger chance than it reasonably should, and that excites me. Anyway, next one. I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily think it's impossible for it to be Tom Wiley, even though everyone's rejected that idea. No, dude, you don't want it's to get so funny to me. Up after well, every other cartoon <laughs> episode. Oh, absolutely. Samurai Jack. I don't. I'm, no. It's not even getting a hopes up thing. I just think it's a possibility. Dude, no, it's so funny to me. Episode one hundred and ninety nine, like probably one of the more anticipated ones because it's right before Yugi versus Ash and it's Fall Guys versus Among Us. That'd be the funniest I, thing ever. Well, well, no, uh, Luis's hand-drawn thing is earlier. And then again, none of these are necessarily going to release in the exact order we see here. So, Yes, we have yeah. another thing now. Hi, Bo! Uh, at 300,000, it was Mahito versus Shigaraki. I, uh, I, gotcha. I wish we that, that pause I wish... of complete silence. <laughs> what was that? Listen, Dude, I know I... Th I, I know a lot of people like it. I get the theme of it with like just people with hands that like decay people hands. when they touch them people and they're like decay, 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 hands. decay. decay. But, I but decay, I, decay. I don't think any of us have anything to say about it. I'm Shigar I'm Shigaraki from Fortnite. I'm gonna make everything decay. Hi, sorry. Hi, I, sorry. I know that. I know you're watching know the stream. That... Hi, sorry. I know you're I know that for. Sorry. <laughs> I know that for a long period of time, people um, were under the impression that Shigaraki just wiped. Nowadays, it's a little bit more complicated. I guess because of recent J uh, JJK stuff, so that it's a little bit more debatable. I Can he don't even, really have. Can he even kill? It's more to do with. T it's more to do with conversation about how Mahito works. Yeah. Can I can't. Can I can't. I guess that I is the question to be like at the his... end of the day of every fucking death battle, isn't it? Yeah. I can't wait to kill one. Can't wait to like tell Starry, "Hey, have you seen the new podcast episode?" Yeah, she's, she's gonna be like, "No, I haven't." And then you get to my uh, Hito versus Shigaraki, and she's gonna hear fucking decay, decay, and activate her flight, fight or flight response. Only she will get it, but it's going to be so funny. Anyway, I mean, do we give predictions on this one? I feel I like I said everything we kidding. collectively know about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so pretty like, much. It's a matchup I didn't even all know right, existed so like, before uh, like, this Kickstarter, so that should tell you all you need to know. <laughs> well, I think uh, Mahi Mahito, um, his thing works faster, but Shigaraki has way more range and is just generally stronger. Can he kill him, Just right? him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Shigaraki just has better stats, yeah. I, I feel like that's just I feel like that's way easier for him for to win I guess but like I don't I don't I can't, about him. I can't wait for the fight animation to take place in some kind of crowded ball and there's gonna be like no one left at the end that's gonna be raw it just starts with that it starts everyone just like my is in the middle of the mall and then they all just disappear like between from between shots it's just dust <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, Shigar Shigaraki is just <laughs> mm, must have missed one you gotta decay. I I need to make a tape. Let me touch you. Let me touch you with my fingers. I, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna go out on a, on a limb and say Shigaraki for that one, just so that we say something at least. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you, with Shigaraki. Uh, I'm, I'm Shigaraki for it. I'm Shigaraki for it. I'm Shigaraki for it. And then it just and then it just and then it just it it, it it just like loops at it infinitely it never ends yeah 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 anyways uh 
Next one is 350,000, an epic documentary series covering the untold history of Death Battle. Okay, um, so this is going to be so fun because it's just Ben in his garage for like three hours, <laughs> just like on his laptop. And he's like, I'm animating and I'm so proud of him, dude. Look where you are now, man. <laughs> I'm happy. I mean, to be fair, years. I'm pretty sure they were always working at Screw Attack. Were they? No, they yeah. worked at Reverse. Oh, I thought it was Reversion Re Revision Thirteen. Revision, Revision 3, Three. Revision Three wasn't like a company that owned. No. <laughs> Long story short, no. It was always Screw Attack. <laughs> You're denying this existence to try back up your argument, even though I see their logo at the start of the EMS Hoat. Yeah, yours, yours is because the that's the website Viagra. that they posted yours all their is, videos you on. You see the, the, the fucking logo for Viagra at the start of some episodes. That doesn't mean that Ben was making it with Viagra. That was the company. That yes, it was you Viagra. don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 200. Uh uh ben, ben, no, ben, 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 no no no, no, no. Re, re, real real talk though uh revision 3 was the website that they posted all their videos on back then idiot i'm pretty sure that's the gist of it i i have are there no any idea. Uh, are there any other things that were popular that were ever posted on revision 3 is it just f -Tile? i don't know probably <laughs> that this was, uh, early, this was early this was early-ish internet we're talking about, that so was, probably. That was a lot of Uguay energy. You like you school him, you tell him what's going on, he asks one question. I don't know. <laughs> uh I'm 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 waiting for Red to be like, guess what I haven't seen. Yeah, Philip DeFranco <laughs> was Philip DeFranco was on revision three apparently. Let's just jump into it. Anyway, how am I going to parody <laughs> the, the the documentary of Death Battle? How do I do that? Um, you don't. Why not? Not everything needs a parody. Yeah, it does. Okay. Or or okay. you can do the Philly. You can do the episode two hundred is uh, Ash versus Yugi. Yeah, it's Ash. Three hundred seventy-five thousand. Hey, uh, uh, this good is question. this is this is this is the one name? I'm the most excited for. Um, so I want um, to make a let him. Speak. I want to make a. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm very yeah, enthusiastic, I'm, I'm sorry. I just asked him, how do you spell Yugi's last name, Gumball? Uh, um, uh, how do you spell cyanide in, in your lemonade? C-Y-A-N-I-D-E space I-N space Y-O-U-R space M-O-N-A-D-E full stop. Alright, okay, um, All right. congratul congratulations, here's a canister of mustard gas inside your home. Yum. I'll just eat it. I love mustard. Anyway, um... Oh, oh god. Oh no, my Fortnite okay, okay. brain has ruined me. I saw the silhouette of Yugi, and you know who exactly who I thought it was. <laughs> I really hope I don't. It was you. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> now I have to this is This is the one I have been waiting for the most. The most nostalgic thing for me. And Red and Hyper have said in the past that they don't quite get the hype of this being the milestone episode let me structure this in a different way if there is any one character who even has an argument a baseline for an argument to be an anime character more iconic than goku it's ash no uh, no <laughs> no no it is dude like i i, I see no. your point it's, i no, see it's... your point Gumball, it would be but he is would not be, it would be Pikachu <laughs> if you were gonna go that route. I, know I mean like in the game but you know Goku's also I mean yeah if you want to be super technical yeah, Goku's not also <laughs> not from an anime so all right you know you know what? Yeah, you know what? Sure. sure oh yeah. right uh, yeah yeah okay sure anyway so, um I, I would say Ash's Pikachu if, if you if you actually wanted to go with that logic, then I actually think I might agree with Gumball that Ash is probably uh, yeah. the most... The, I don't know if I would go with the most popular anime character, because I'm sure no, there's no, someone I'm forgetting, but he's probably... he's He might be. He didn't say popular, he said iconic. There are a lot of people who really fucking hate Ash, but that doesn't mean they don't know him. Uh, Iconic, sure. The point is, if if you uh, exclude manga characters, I I think yeah. Ash might actually be the top. You know, top, yeah. actually, yeah, I guess I retract my statement. You might be right then. Good job. <laughs> For once, I'm validated. 
<laughs> cool, but I still don't get it. God, the Voltron yeah. fans. Okay, well. Sitting there thinking like, no, it's my guy. He's the most popular. The Netflix in the corner. Listen, I get the matchup. I do. I just have a very niche preferred that I know that I knew from the start was never going to happen, and I'm perfectly well, fine with this happening. I mean, like, listen, listen. That Pikachu is a solo. Okay, that's there's still chance. There's still a no, chance. No, I don't believe it. Either. That's not. That's not even Pikachu. Uh, listen, it's Ash at the end of the day coming back. So they would need back. to be convinced to bring Ash back. All right, listen. So, the dynamic is completely different. That's why I think Correct. it's a shot. I anyway, don't, I, I don't believe that, that that it would, unless <laughs> unless somehow just, the, the anime the anime just, interpretation just, of it popped off like crazy. Now I will say that's uh, a possibility. The explanation of but the yeah, dynamic that, is different would also apply to the argument of Goku coming back to fight someone else, uh, and then they did Goku yeah, three anyway. So, yeah, yeah, you know. no, and and Nemesis. Guess what? Guess what? We so, almost got Goku versus Ryu. That was genuinely almost about to win a round. Okay. And then it didn't. So like, what's your I wouldn't point? go that far. I mean, it I don't think right. we were on that. <laughs> almost win. It. it never almost won. Dude, it was an arms race for Sailor Moon. Versus it was an Sabota. arms race for that first round. The first round. All right, no, we keep getting sidetracked. It's like one of the only arms one. races in that whole tournament. All yeah. right, I want to. I want to talk about this. This has been. Ash has been one of my most wanted characters. Whether it was against Lucy or Yugi, didn't matter to me. As long as we got Ash, and this is the one I have been the most excited for, for so long. I want to make a wish list video without trying to sound too entitled, because there are so many ideas for I have for this thing. Um, I wouldn't worry about sounding entitled. Just, uh, I would worry for, about saying your expectations too high. Probably. I'm just waiting for That's to all I would say. That Ash is not the only one that is physically superhuman in this matchup. Yeah, <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Waiting for people to go. Hold on. So Yugi's soul just survived the blast from it being stronger than the Egyptian gods, and we're just gonna let that pass. We're not gonna acknowledge that. The Egypt, a guy <laughs> with more power than the Egyptian god cards individually, and roughly equal to them combined, couldn't destroy Yugi's soul. All right. So anyway, um, so I feel like for people who watch the anime, there's going to be that one. Pokemon of Ashes that's not going to be seen as one of his strongest that they want done justice and for me that one is Halucha bar none Halucha is one of the coolest Pokemon he's ever gotten I want to see him All right, if I want a specific interaction I want him to fly and press Beaver Soldier and evaporate that fucker okay? beaver. no one likes Beaver Soldier <laughs> yeah fuck that you Beaver Soldier man no one likes him beaver. you Damn right I did. <laughs> I play Monster right. Reborn to bring back my beaver. All right, you did it again. again. You did it again. <laughs> yep. Why did you do that? Yep. No, hold on. It was not your turn. I was in my main phase too. We're scrapping now. We're scrapping, Yugi. <laughs> You're a dickhead. That's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Halucha. All right, fly. Ash Ketchum, right, how about Halucha, you catch these press... hands, motherfucker? Hyper, what happened? Halucha, fly and press know. his life force directly. I don't care. How about I fly and press him up your ass? I'm Egyptian. <laughs> That's why I'm so Asian looking. I don't get why they're so white in those Egyptian scenes, genuinely. It's weird. Uh. I'll you, pretend I knew weird. what. It, I, I, I'll pretend I knew any of that. Pharaoh so, Aten uh... is Egyptian. There are a lot of scenes that show ancient Egypt, and he is so white. Like he they give him a bit of a tan sometimes, so he looks but like he's not Egyptian looking. And the reason Kaiba. is because Kaiba, I know more than you ever will. I have sacrificed my own melanin to become the king of games. No, <laughs> you perfect can't do that. that. And then <laughs> Watch me, Kaiba. No, did did you it. cut out or did you purposefully just no, no, stop it, the it, sentence it, midway? Yeah, I, I just <laughs> no, no, stopped. He... <laughs> oh, okay, I thought your mic cut out. <laughs> no, I just stopped because there is no reason. 
I know. <laughs> dude, dude, it's just, dude, just imagine like he's like, I sacrificed my melon, and he just becomes whiter and whiter as his life points grow. I sacrificed my melon. <laughs> I'm an obelisk, the tormentor. Okay, okay. Anyway, uh, next. It, it, it's it's a uh, cool enough, I suppose. I'm not that right. interested personally okay. in either oh, in either oh, Ash enough. or Yugi, but. I like it for Ash. I know Yu-Gi-Oh's cool. I think it's neat. I just don't have that much. All right. Um, all right. I never, or... I never, no, 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 I never no. actively watched Pokemon. I right, have you... never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I have in watched my life. all the all right. Pokemon right. films, demonstrably so. I couldn't care less about Ash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but you care okay. about his Poke. All right, but you care about his Pokemon. You know who we all care about. You know who we all care about. Torian right. Crawford. Yeah! I won. Yeah! <laughs> the goat! He's goat. back. The goat's back. The one there has only. never been a human on right. Earth with more he's him energy. For uh, 425,000. Alright. <laughs> of course it was 425,000. And the people that. And the an people. Uh, and the episode that people want him to animate is coming up, so. um, yeah. More on that later. Again, I'm not cool. sure if I'm not sure how they'll handle things like that. I'm not sure like either, the vague, like, I'm uh, someone's going to animate something. All right, so like if we assume that it's an original episode and Torian gets the call, um, it's Shulk yeah. versus Lightning. Shulk Lightning. I it would be really fun if it was Shulk versus Lightning. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care about that. It would be about the only way you could make me even like slightly interested in Shulk Lightning is is if Torian's doing it, because I I just I just don't subscribe <laughs> to the mindset. Of it's a bad matchup, but it's the only way he's getting on death battle, so I like it. I just don't really, I just don't really get Dude, that mindset. Listen, it, it, it I, does seem I, I like they were. Dorian. It does. I, it does seem like they were interested in letting him choose whatever he wanted to animate, but that doesn't necessarily mean he has to be entirely self indulgent. So we'll just see. We'll see. It's it's not I, just I, because I, like the whole Monty thing with wanting him to do Ruimaka. It's also because I don't I don't think I've seen anyone animate any fight. With as close to Monty's energy and style as Torian. Yeah. Torian understands the assignment. But even with that, listen, I love the guy. I love his animation. I don't think anything could make me care about Lightning. Lightning? <laughs> Not God, I have been playing what? Xenoblade, <laughs> and I re all those times I said, is Shulk really so lame that his only matchup is Lightning? It's like, no! Shulk's awesome! Shulk's great! No, Shulk... Why are you doing Shulk this to the guy? Incredible. Shulk is one of my favorite JRPG characters, dude. Um, him and Riki. Like what, what what about Riki? What do you think I of like Riki? Riki, yeah. Riki he's, he's, no, it's so funny. Um, he's quite, uh, I, I did found you hear? Him really obnoxious right, so like, at the start, but I came to like him a, like a lot more as as he got more scenes. I feel like <laughs> you might be starting a tangent right now, Gumball. Yes, yes, it's a small one though. Um, so real quick, um. So you notice how he's really bulky, right, as a party member? Yes. My Riki um, has 9,999 HP. Yes, that's going to be normal. <laughs> because um, he was supposed to be really frail, as most characters of his archetype are, but the devs thought it would be funny to do the opposite. But, oh, look so at this, he's look just at, a better... He... Look at the beef of the guy. <laughs> he's just a little guy, and he's a better medic than Sharla. Yeah, I mean, I don't exactly want a medic to shoot me, though. So like, <laughs> okay, and now we can move on over and done with. <laughs> mm -hmm. This we got uh, Simon the Digger versus Light Lantern. Yeah, Simon versus Kyle. Kyle Rayner. It, it's Kyle Rayner. I don't know why you call him Light. I, it's That's called that Rainer because yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, right. I I know that. But yeah. All right, so so. Do we make the fridge jokes now or later? Later. Later. Okay. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, but yeah, this now... was this was a very. I'll just big... I'll just call it a front runner on the uh, first you champions poll. Though... Yeah. I think. Yeah, it from... kind of was good because I'm the only from one an who outsider's fucking no. From an outsider's perspective, I'm pretty sure people were all in the poll initially. They were like, oh, it's Simon versus Kyle. Of course it's going to win. I don't need to vote for it. And then it lost. To be fair, to be fair, I saw so many people. When I was talking to people who were participating in the poll, 
The majority of people I spoke to said they were voting Simone versus Kyle. I voted Simon versus Kyle. I did because, as well. Because even though Bill versus Discord was one of my most wanted matchups on the show, fuck that. <laughs> no, I, I can definitely say that. Yeah, I can definitely say that. I had to be in the front of it. But yeah, it, it's happening now, and I'm very happy. I just want to shit one so that other one never happened. But you know, oh, yeah. things, things happen. <laughs> but, listen, listen, even hey, if it did win, even if it did win, Silver's Discord would have happened eventually. You couldn't have stopped it. <laughs> I could try. I just realized there's, been, <laughs> but, there's but also... so much, like, with this upcoming, this new Death Bell stuff, that's just vindicated shit that I've said. That's like, yep, I did say it was gonna, I did say Kyle versus Simone was probably gonna happen anyway. I did say Kratos versus Azra was absolutely gonna happen anyway. I said these things, <laughs> none of you believe me. I was right! <laughs> you don't so talk I, I back heard. to the man who lives in a time zone a day ahead of you. <laughs> I guess you could bro, say he, in, he, in, he, he, in brightest day he, and darkest hill, huh? What? No, he, bro, bro, he literally, he's literally playing Xenoblade. That's future vision. Yeah, I was like, playing, but no, I was yeah, like, I Zen, like playing Xenoblade, and like I saw Shulk see the future, and I was like, he's so me. Like that's me. <laughs> yeah. No, like. Anyway, Hyper, you said you said you wanted to stop Pilcord from having it, right? Would you would you have made a petition? Shut up! Uh, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> but like, anyways, yeah. Simon the Digger versus White Lantern. I yeah, I love it a lot. I was I I was like, oh yeah, I think that could be a cool idea. I could have a lot of skill and stuff. But like, as soon as I helped like co commission for that for Will the Drill. I just became like an instant fan of it. it just I immediately binged Gurren Lagan to get an idea of it as well, and I became a huge, huge fan of the matchup. It just how I also read some Kyle comics as well. I know, crazy, right? Me, the uh, oh hate, my god, hate, hate reader. The, reader the, I know the the visual novel fan can read. I know, mostly for the <laughs> blog, <but> yeah. <laughs> uh, but like, if but, you're a novel fan, have you ever played Plumbers Don't Wear Ties? Shut up! Don't dare mention that. You know, that. you know, people like to make fun of that and say there's a reason the West doesn't make visual novels. That is, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties is a visual novel with a gay sex ending. So, I mean, that, it sounds like a base game to me. Uh, sounds pretty basic. I, 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 I love the, I love the direction that this podcast. Is I going. will also note. I do also want to note as someone who has played that game, for better or worse. Sorry, for worse or worse. There is also a bit yeah. where John says that he'd get the girl if he wasn't white and imagines himself as someone who is not white that is a Scandinavian. Um, this was about oh, Kyle versus... Yes, this is right. about yeah, Kyle yeah, versus... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just... And this is this is about Kyle versus Simon, by yes. the way. I mean, I was talking about done. whites, and, like, he is... He's not the fucking orangutan-colored lantern. Oh, <sighs> anyways, um, Simon <laughs> right, right, right. White Lantern. This is one of okay, my most so wanted. Like... I've let me see. I this is one of my most wanted <laughs> for a very long time, and I have, I have had a lot of ideas for this that I've discussed with myself. Uh, that I discussed with my friends a lot of times. Discussed with myself. <laughs> I, I realized what I was about to say. I'm very, I'm very lonely. Yeah, yeah you, can, you, can, but, uh, you legally can just name drop Rena. We know the one person you talk to. Yeah, I know. Rena and other friends as well, I know. But and other and other friends, quote unquote. He's just looking at the sock puppets in his hands. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Can you get a sentence in. He's looking at all the like... in his DMs on Discord. <laughs> Bro, the, the the fucking the fucking smiley faces on Sweatshop Fingers the game's all here. <laughs> okay. Okay, you but... know. I have wanted this for a very long time, and I am very much looking forward to just, like, the scale and the animation. So, I wouldn't, like, there's, like, multiple ways you can, like, obviously, I would like it for it to be, like, based in sprites, but also, like, have the mechs, like, I've heard some multiple ideas. I was suggesting, what if, like, maybe make this, the, the mechs, like, 3D, but also people were saying, why not have the mechs be hand-drawn? I was like, hmm. Um, I am, so. I am unsure about that. I feel like 3D uh, would be, like... I Maybe feel like it's like a hybrid of that, but I also so, wouldn't. I also would be down with hand drawn as want, well. So I like... would want maybe if Gurren Lagan itself was three D, to literally be a higher dimension than everything else in the animation. 
I think that would um, be. Oh, that would actually there, be so good. <laughs> there's there's a lot there's a lot of stuff I want, but it's also important to remember. And it's easy to forget, but Death Battle still has a budget to maintain. And <laughs> no one asked you. This is the one episode. Well, guess what? No one asked you, bitch. This That's is my true. channel. That's why now. I didn't waste um, everyone's time by giving my opinion. What's your? You excuse? just gave your opinion. <laughs> you just gave your opinion. <laughs> yeah, so did you. Too wrong yeah. to make a right, but I am still more right than you. I don't need consent. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to let that point uh, exist on its own. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes you don't even need to argue back. Someone just says something that you just know. Like, yep. You just let, let everyone sit on that one. Let that one simmer on its own. Sometimes uh, well, enemy will defeat itself. Look what you've done. <laughs> Some, sometimes I'm wondering like, to myself, Hey, if I say this I thing, like if I play into this bit, is that too far? Is this too far? I just want to point out that whenever, well, whenever anyways, Hyper, what were you wants, saying? Whenever Hyper wants to talk, with most people, he's like a very, very quiet, very, can I talk? Can I, can I, can I say something? But with Gumball, he's like, let me talk. <laughs> I know. Um, I think, I so think that's called, sometimes I think you just need to say that. <laughs> uh, I think it's called autism. I, I, As you were saying, sometimes you just gotta let the right, yes. simmer for a bit. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, Gurlagon, um, I've known it before. I've even entered this community properly. It, it changed my life, man. I don't talk about it much, but Gurlagon changed me, and, and I've only seen like the f actual anime itself. I haven't seen any of the OVAs or media tied to it. Um, so obviously, I'm stoked for this one. And it's so funny to me. This started as a DC fight matchup, and Kyle wins, and people like it more now. Okay. I'm gonna say... I, I, I hear that so often, but I've never really gotten that. No, like, I'm gonna be honest. I've heard so many people say, oh, Kyle wins because he's the DC character. That tells me nothing. He wins because he has the... No, 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 I meant, I meant the spite match. I meant the spite uh, well, matchup part. It was I... very evident in the early days where of the matchup a lot of people would be like so what's up with this matchup oh it's a it's a cool fight and also the dc character loses they'd always add that also the dc herald loses it was always a major point <laughs> and when it when the like the public opinion shifted to kyle wins a ton of people dropped off of it so now the people who support it are just the ones that like it we're past the stage where it was a spite match because all the people who liked it for that reason dropped off and they are nowhere to be seen now. So now it's just a group of people who really like it because it's cool. Yeah. You're not going to see it's, like much any like any evidence left of that old era of we like it because DC loses. Now that's Doomsday. Uh, yeah, I was yeah, I knew where that was going. And... I, I, okay. But <laughs> but that's um, a stalemate even then. But yeah. no one's favorite enough to say that. Probably, I don't know. But like um for for me, it's like I know I, I don't really okay, like I know enough about like well I try to comprehend what people are saying when they're you know actually using words. I do think that you can actually make an argument for Simone to actually win. Obviously if you don't include the life equation. I still don't think that should be included. If you don't personally. include the life equation, I think you've got a decent enough argument. Just because white lantern scaling is kind of all over the place. But the problem is, like, it's so intrinsically tied to him that I, I don't know how you would just not include it. I know that people recently are arguing that he's going to get the White Lantern back again without the life equation, which might seal the argument for him getting it. Yeah, just like the time that, you know, Thor got the Odin Force, and that was brought up in Death Battle, the time that Venom... Uh, you know, all these other times that something happened in the comics that made something a new status quo, and then it got used in Death Battle, you know? Mm. <laughs> this, yeah. this does not change the fact that Venom is weak to sound. That is. <laughs> that, you see, that's uh. why Venom became cosmic because he was like, "What? You mean there's no sound in space? I gotta get into that shit." Yeah. I'm free. There's no oxygen for fire to burn. Why am I on Earth? I'm in the worst place possible. <laughs> Let me be in space. But yeah, Eddie. If you want to be fair. Space. If you want to be fair to Death Battle on that front, they were pretty much right. 
<laughs> the Venom one, I mean. The Venom one, but like, I'm just Bro, saying. Why? They, they did dude. kind of bring Venom back to his status quo. <laughs> no, dude, it's still funny to me. Because it's like, oh my god, why am I on Earth? Especially, why am I in the Bronx? There's a fire breaking out every 20 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, I think, and also from just like, I think it would be much more interesting if it was just not exclusive. Because like, I don't want to go into like, because like I read the comic specifically, people justifying why I don't like based on what I saw. I don't personally believe it, but I also am not like I also have no control <laughs> over what uh, it, it, if they're gonna pick or not. But like, I don't care. Like personally, I just hope they don't, so that there's actually a debate behind it. <laughs> all right, so all right, so I was thinking about doing a wish list video for this, but there is one interaction, one interaction only, and that's. And that brings attention to the fact that the Gurren Lagan has anti time travel missiles. Yeah, yeah, we know. You could do the funniest call. You can do the funniest <laughs> callback <laughs> of all time. What if, what if <laughs> Kyle just makes a giant fridge and stuffs him in there? Stop. <laughs> okay, maybe that. I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> there are two things I would. Uh, I just want to also add just because one, K Kyle is canonically a weeb and he's also made a Gurren Lagan construct. <laughs> Which is funny, and also the ending it just has to be them both like absolutely depowered, bare like with barely anything on them, and just they just imagine, do one less. I just punch. imagine they give him like, the life equation, and he kills like someone with happiness. He just makes him really happy. <laughs> That's how he dies. No, it's like it's like that little sequence near the end where the anti spiral give them all the perfect lives, but this time Simon accepts it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Obviously, and then, though, I think the ending. Obviously, Kyle be... then just I, I... Then kills him with a boot. Afterwards, you know. Yeah, I, I, I do think that no matter who Vader, wins, you need a kill after after that to for it to count. Yeah, I do think the ending would be like light heart. Uh, it would be like, I guess I don't know what light light heart. I guess like, like, I guess I guess like, kind. Could, could, I don't know what the word, uh, word is. Could Kyle? You know could I mean. Kyle? Could Kyle turn Simon into willpower? Hmm. Like either like Simon like. Just like either like Simon uh, just drills through him or Kyle. Uh, oh my god! Oh him. my god! Oh my god! What? What if Simon? What if Simon reunites with Kamina? Ah. Uh... <laughs> yeah. He dude dude dude. To fucking imagine Simon dies and Kamina's just like he did it, bud. He pierced the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> this okay, that would be. No, no, he didn't. But like, you know go off i guess <laughs> <laughs> either way though i think i think that i think i think the ending would be like it, it would end on a good note basically uh anyways the, the last one. goal well the, which one was this last one for a bit because they didn't ever expect it to ever reach past that point <laughs> Uh, for um, 500, they didn't even expect it to reach this point what they said was that they planned for twice as much as what they actually thought was the best case scenario and it wasn't enough <laughs> all right uh, anyways, it wasn't yeah. enough. <laughs> so anyway um the yang versus tifa uh, rematch i am so excited for this one now we got a live action uh, battle by isma hawk i mean if that was yang tifa that would be interesting um that would be hilarious <laughs> <laughs> they just get they just get barbara barbara does look close enough to yang yeah yes but yeah, live action battle by Isma Hawk. Uh, my only expectation: don't be Marvel and DC. Yeah, oh Marvel my DC. god! There's no other Marvel DC on here. We know Isma Hawk want to do Batman. I'm just saying. Moon Knight versus Azrael. You know, it it maybe it's not Marvel DC. Maybe it'll be Batman versus Solid Snake. Uh, I, <laughs> dead silence. Dude, Moon Knight versus. <laughs> Moon Knight versus Azrael would be cool though. Black like Cat actually, you know, unironically though, a Metal Gear matchup. Would be kind of cool. I would like it not to be Marvel DC at least this time, just so that we don't just have a string of like live action episodes always Marvel DC. I I hear ya, I hear ya, but like that and would be no the but. best time to do Moon Knight versus Asriel. There's no but. I mean, all the fans of Moon Knight Asriel still don't know there's more than one Asriel, so you know. <laughs> okay, I mean, not all. <laughs> Right, I, both both of you out there who do, you're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're they're both Moon Knight. He's just having a bipolar thing again. The only thing that sucks is that the the uh, Azrael that everyone actually wants barely has any footage. Yeah, 
just yeah, like they, Kyle. They, they always use the other one in thumbnails anyway. Yeah. <laughs> didn't didn't they use like the different the Ron Ant Man for the thumbnail or yeah. like his introduction? Yeah, Ant-Man, card? yeah, they did. Ant Man, Red Ranger, Jason, and Hawkeye is still the wrong character on the thumbnail. Uh, also, uh, and, didn't and they Batman. use and Batman and Batman Iron Man? Yeah, that's that's Nightwing. That one is that one's funny in particular because he that he, he wore that on to trick people to think he was Batman and I, I think yeah. it was funny because the the previous <laughs> thumbnail they showed off for the matchup had the right Batman and the wrong Iron Man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, classic great. blunder. It would have been great if Archie Sonic versus Wally West had the wrong Flash. On the thumbnail, that would have been hilarious. No, instead they just got the Ron Sonic. It was Sweetway. <laughs> <laughs> just IDW yeah. Sonic PNG on the thumbnail. Uh, that'd be funny. But yeah, live action is the Hawk. I, I the only expectation is just not comics and be something to and you know like maybe try to like branch out to be something a little anyway, bit. Anyway, uh, the next one though I, is again. I hadn't I hadn't thought of it until you mentioned it offhandedly nemesis but uh not i don't know if solid snake but just metal gear in general would be kind I of interesting like were, i felt like uh, there was a part of you that was going that was about to say solidus versus bradley and then realized how stupid that would sound to say out loud i i <laughs> was not going to say it but i did like think is it possible and answered myself no no uh, hmm. uh um, you just reminded me you just reminded me of this one they, friend they who I know do, is They like a... could probably do Big Boss versus Nick Fury. Like, hmm. anime, that, would, that would be like, fun. The big ships you can just, like, you, you'd have to do in, like, 3D, and it would look out of place. But, like, make the fight itself, the fight itself could still be, like... Okay, so... That would be cool. Nemesis. This is I know that's Marvel. If you, wanted to get this really is... ex if you wanted to get really extra with it, you could do miniatures or something, I don't know. That would be ne sick. Nemesis but if they're going to do be... miniatures, you make it. You make it Han versus Kirk. If you're going to do miniatures, all right. No. Uh, Nemesis, it's going to be awfully cathartic for you. But there is one matchup that came to mind that a lot of people have physically uh, physically said that they are expecting, physically. and I need to you to weigh in on this. Um, so, um, have you ever heard of this obscure matchup called Captain America versus Kamen Rider Ichigo? Uh, yeah, I, I no, up no, no, no. No, I've heard that so. I've heard that so action. much from people. I... My, my problem is yes. Um, for one thing, a lot of people want a train fight. That's not happening in live action. They would like to see a motorcycle fight. That's not happening in live action. Um, I think I think notably as well. Uh, there's only there's like only so many environments really closely associated with the two, and the only one I could see you really using in the live action one is just random open quarry from Kamen Rider 1971 episodes 30 to 59, whatever. Fucking, uh, and like, it would be neat, but the problems would be, one, um, they would need a lot of money to make a good Hongo suit. Uh, those are not cheap. Two, they will not be able to include Powered Up Hongo from the Ghost movie, um, which would be weird. Three, I just, I just don't, I just don't see it. Um, obviously, it would have to play into the original series more than anything else Hongo's been in. But I just, I just, I don't see that. I, it I think it. it's not impossible. I, I, I think regardless, um, they focus more on the ori original series in terms of uh visual portrayal. Yeah, I think. You sounded so disappointed when you said that. Well, it's because <laughs> Hongo is portrayed, like, as a lot more intense in anything that has a proper budget. Like, not even including, like, Shin Kamen Rider and Kamen Rider the First. Just in, like, Showa vs. Heisei, uh, All Riders vs. Dai Shocker, um, Kamen Rider 1. Like, when Hongo is given a budget, he is portrayed as just extremely strong. Uh, and he's always been portrayed as They're... extremely fast, just the budget never quite worked. I don't I don't remember if I ever showed you the clip of him running in a circles with Hayato so fast that it meant that when they jumped, six guys flew into each other in the sky and all exploded from the force of them jumping at high speed. Hmm. Sega, that that sounds like a Sekata Sanchiro moment. Um It kind of is. I could see them doing it, but I also don't think it would be ideal. Yeah. Like I've heard, I've heard that matchup get brought up a lot for a potential Ismahawk. I'm not a fan. 
Yeah. If it was Bat in the Sun, I would say, absolutely, I think they could pull it off the way I'd want it. But from what I've seen of... And this is not to say Ismahawk is worse. Just from what I've seen of Ismahawk's work, I don't think it's in their wheelhouse. They could surprise me. But I just don't think it's in the cards. Okay. okay. And yeah, uh, when I think uh, Isma, I when think I think Ismahawk, I think I when I think Ismahawk, I think way more gritty, realistic yeah, than. Yeah. And you could do yeah. that technically if you did like MCU uh, Captain America against First Hongo, but I think first of all, First Hongo has less than no personality, and secondly, that would be really weirdly specific of a like the least remarkable of the five versions of Ichigo that exist that you could be using is the one from the first duology. So you it would mm. be playing into <laughs> the least remarkable of all versions of Kamen Rider Ichigo. Okay. Mm. Um, right. so... We have two more matchups on here. I, I uh -huh. just realized I think Gumball is stalling. We have Ruby versus Marka. I am very <laughs> excited. I am very excited. This yeah. is again a volume one render for Ruby. Uh well Blaze. actually no, this is uh Blaze Blue. Blaze Blue, yeah. Oh yeah, it is. You're right. The volume Yeah, one this render. is the Blaze Blue She's render. Standing still and the sight's the other way around in the volume one render. This is Blaze And Ogging Maga render. <laughs> I don't I hate that render so much. I have Bro. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> She, she, always, it, it, dude, she does it in almost all her renders. You're just going to have to accept she, it. She does. I don't mind the pog. I don't mind the pog. It's just that render in particular bothers me. <laughs> it's dude, weird. I am so, <laughs> I'm so excited. It's my cross. So weird. Probably. Well, it, it's my main in Blaze Blue cross tag battle. I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I, this is three, all right. three of my most wanted right here. This is the third one. And I'm like... Mm. Very. I realize we kind of. I realize we kind of stopped doing predictions. Everyone thinks Yugi's gonna win. Uh, generally, I think people are going Kyle, and this is very obvious. This is uh, stats equalized. Maka wins. Ruby stat stomps. Maka probably still would find a way to win. Uh, Maka stat stomps, which is nope. the accurate one. She wins. Um. No, no. Unironically, unironically, I just want to mention Adagio of the Soul. Uh, which is pretty much only prevalent in the manga. Yeah, that's why no one literally that. just turns off someone's soul. Which, if you weren't caught up on Ruby, that means it would just turn off Ruby's entire defense system and would completely immobilize her at the exact same time. Okay, but she I want to win because I like her, so I say she just... the silver eyes. Because I don't think that's direct. She would conflict. still have I, her silver eyes. Here's the thing: they would. And do it is. It is pretty. I do. I don't mind the idea of making the silver eyes do something in the animation because I don't think it would save her anyway. Because yeah. the silver eyes wouldn't kill Maka. It, it wouldn't kill it Soul. Couldn't kill the at Leviathan. worst, it would. In... It couldn't like when it when she, the strongest wor... thing she used it against was the Leviathan at the end of Volume Six, and when she used it. All she was able to do was encase it in stone for like a second, and then it busted. I out. think the worst. I think the worst thing that Ruby could do, even if you say Silver Eyes would affect Black Blood, is incapacitate Soul for a little bit. And it would only be Mako no, would think... be fine. It, again, it would only be uh, Mako no, think... herself would be fine. If you are strong yeah. enough, you can resist the effects of the Silver Eyes. We have seen this visually. That, to be fair, soul to is be fair. stronger than the uh, Leviathan. Yeah. Yeah. And to be fair, I will say technically that could be said for the soul adagio too. If you have a stronger <laughs> soul presence, uh, you can resist it. Sadly, Problem is, I don't think Ruby as a series delves into the strength of people's souls necessarily. If anything, you could argue that and... because aura breaks so often that there is more to say and not only do I think it would be a case of it would work anyway because we see how weak auras tend to be, but every time Marka hits Ruby, it's going to make it more likely to work. No, 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 Nam, I still cannot forget that one moment where, like, I don't remember who, I think it was, I think it was actually Ruby herself who, like, fell on the floor yep. and it instantly broke. Volume 8, uh, the hound, like, drops her for, yeah, like, but... five feet and she just goes, uh, and it breaks. 
she had not taken a single hit. <laughs> no, why, why didn't they just make her fall from further up, bro? Why? Why <laughs> just her aura just, just like stay fine? I would be. I would be fine from that. <laughs> I would survive that. It would hurt. It would hurt like hell. I would be fine. Yeah, it is. It is probably the biggest. I probably wouldn't even break a bone. Ruby. Um. But yeah, I think. I. I, I, I wouldn't want. The, I wouldn't the want to only. The only benefit. The only benefit I could possibly give her is that it already kicked her ass before it did that. <laughs> yeah, but like she. All right. She so was, like, um, anyway, fine. like she looked completely fine, and then she got dropped, and she was like, "Yep, that's that's a bad one." <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, um, anyway, anyway, um, sorry, yeah, uh, I think, uh, I think, I don't think, um, Aka would have an answer to this combo. I'm streaming Blaze Blue right now. Check this shit out. I'm not, I'm not watching <laughs> you play Blaze Blue Gumball. Who cares about that? Marcus counter is that, um, uh, every, uh, imagine the combo you're doing, but every single hit does one chip damage, and that's the most you'll do. <laughs> but, um... Another thing about uh, Soul Adagio, it also does pretty much the exact same thing as the Apathy Grim. Like, we've actually seen <laughs> something like that. Right, effect yeah, before. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so What's we that? actually know... Sorry? What's that again? It's been a while. Uh, the Apathy been... Grim, when they were in the house in the snow, there were Grim that literally sap your willpower oh, i guess Ruby only and, that is like, literally what soul adagio Ruby does except less extreme a little bit while she was far away from them once she got close it worked until maria like woke up her eyes yeah uh, so you don't even need grim you just need ruby's you just not, need, ruby's not you don't tough even enough need... to take adagio she can't take what happens after that happens her silver eyes will not work. If they do, they will work for all of one second before whatever gets affected just breaks out because it, it's just, the eyes are just not strong enough. And again, even Maka by herself, I want to say Maka by herself would be perfectly fine. Yeah. At worst, it would turn her black blood dress into the white Grigori dress, which would be kind of cool to see. That's the only reason I really want the silver eyes to work. If and I'm being honest. For anyone curious, the, the, the reason why I'm sad about the Silver Eyes will not work, they have only ever been shown... Well, they've been shown to work on Maidens, but that was pretty quickly retconned. Uh, they work on Grim only. Huh? Oh, because in... Salem directly references the, the power that Cinder had, uh, and the new power she I, I know what you're was the, the right Maiden. It was not... Because she already had the Grim with her for a very long time. It has to be the maiden power that Watts was referencing, and she is. It's because of that power. But then, very quickly, they went, "No, clearly that's not what it is. Uh, it's meant to be the grim power." I know what you're saying, but but unironically, the explanation they gave does still work for it being the little beetle grim because it had. You can still interpret it that way. Yeah. Yes. I would not. I think yeah. I, I, it generally feels like they meant maidens, but then they quickly went, "No, that's not how that works," because it doesn't work on Raven, but. Even on yeah. Cinder, who is part Grim, uh, and you could say, like, oh, Marka, you could, like, accuse her of having some black blood if you wanted. I would say no, but all it did is make Cinder go, ow. And then she was fine. Yeah. But the I, Grim again. are soul specifically noted to be physical anonymity. They have no soul. They have no grace. They all have a stupid face. Animosity, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so but yeah, they have no soul. That's mm, why it works soul, pretty much. And soul, soul himself, uh, he engulfs himself in the black blood. But Maka, on the other hand, again, towards the end of the series, I'm pretty sure it's just the black blood dress. So that's why I say she would be perfectly fine. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think the silver eyes could work on Krona, and their whole thing is black blood. <laughs> I think I think Krona would be again. Like, oh, I, I just think it would be a fun. Krona just breaks out I just think it would be fun it. to see. That's the only reason I want. Yeah, uh, for, in it the animation, sure. On the black blood, but in the analysis, if they the, they should probably make a note. You could argue it. Maybe it works. It doesn't fucking matter. Though. But it probably doesn't. <laughs> There's like a one in ten anyway. chance you could argue it works, listen, and there is a listen. none in ten chance it does anything. Listen, listen, you can yeah. list all these disadvantages all you want. I like her more, so I just say she wins. It's simple as that. 
Have I mean, you read Soul Eater? Yeah. A little bit of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Having, having looked at both, and... the only thing I can say is that at least there's very little in Ruby I can say is as bad as the ending to the Soul Eater anime. Listen, that punch... I, I, I was funny. Ruby. It is hilarious. <laughs> that they just, I love how they just did not give a damn and just went with that instead for the anime. No, no, it's literally that the anime had no idea how the manga was going to end, so they had to figure something out. They, like, <laughs> and they, they didn't. Like, it, like stops they follow, it just, like, stops following <laughs> the manga at a certain point. It just stops adapting the manga, does its own thing, and then just I, again, kind of goes back. I, and then Again, isn't it science. literally... Isn't it literally because when those episodes were in production, the rest of the manga wasn't done yet? They genuinely didn't know how it was going to end. They should have fucking just. Why didn't they then. ask them? I I I could not. Why I didn't they just stop and be like, "We'll do that, this when there's manga okay, to adapt"? Be because there's a lot of company policy because to go through. Anime, yes. One Piece is actually One Piece is actually a series that suffers from that sometimes. There are some times where the anime staff will add just random filler content to try and pad runtime until the next chapters come out. Here's the thing. And then they're like, oops, we accidentally contradicted something that's going to happen I will soon. also say, Ruby has more experience in killing little girls with scythes. The problem is that's only when she kills herself. <laughs> anyway, uh, the yeah. last one. That the last goes, one, uh... the new one, the newest one that... Wait, Which may or may not happen the, if you donate to the Kickstarter. They changed the fucking image. Please donate. Yeah, no, they changed it again. They've been changing it multiple times. Uh, wait, please donate, wait, please donate. Did, did they change it again? Or... Yeah, it's well, a different render. Last time I saw anyway. it, was, it was... Well, it's a different character. It, okay, I, I thought I thought you meant they changed it from this one, too. But, but no, it, that's not just a different render. That's a different character entirely. Wait, what? Wait. Okay. Is it? Okay. So, in case you don't know Genshin, right? Uh, Aang versus Traveler, by the way. Aang versus the Traveler. They're both the Traveler, but they are siblings. They are not the same person. Uh, you have Aether, who was originally the person on the thumbnail, uh, the brother, and his sister Lumine or Lumine. I'm not sure. But point is, they are different people. They have different names. Ah, <laughs> oh, and then but it's... but Lumine is slightly more popular. So, <laughs> My, is it is it is it Aether got is, sent to the it, Shadow Realm? Is it because she is female? Probably. I. What do you mean? I you wouldn't mean be able to tell you anything gotcha. beyond. I wouldn't be able. I wouldn't be able to tell you anything beyond that. And because, Gumball, because as this is the type of gotcha player, where... Oh, yeah, this is, no, no, no. Uh, Lumine. Uh, Gumball, this is the type of gotcha where people are really into pretty boys. So trust me, that is not as easy a tell as you think it is. I mean, Lumine. if she's also pretty, then like... Lumine. I don't know how you pronounce it, but... Let me look at it. Oh, yeah. I see here in ads everywhere. Yeah, I... her and her brother are in a lot of ads together, in fact. Why do they both have the most generic designs of all time? I don't want to shit on them. Because they're I'm both the pro because, because they're both the protagonists. You get a choice of which sibling you want to play you know, as. It is it is less <laughs> generic than what Fate Grand Order has, which, you know, good. That that should be the bottom line. <laughs> Either anyway. way. Anyway, this match is fine. Tigi really likes it. It is one that has been building popularity over time. I have seen it become more and more prominent as an Aang matchup. I am just not going to elaborate further. He wanted I, to land. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't care like at all. Like, I just don't. It's like, this, like, I get it. I'm happy for those Genshin fans. I, I feel bad for them as well for some comments I've been okay, seeing. I took a look at her. Yeah, so many... I took a look at so many her people name. were her assholes a little bit. That's her real name, not whatever this localization. What was it? Name. Her real name is Ling, is Ying, not whatever this localization shit is. Uh, her okay. Name, Wait, for uh, Genshin, you mean? Yeah, her name just means glow. Oh, honestly, I I prefer going it's, with localized it's, names it's because otherwise it gets really confusing. Yeah, I know. 
I'm just saying. Uh, I, but I, I, know how to, I know how to pronounce that. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair uh, enough. So, like, I don't know anything about Genshin. I'm pretty sure the matchup was explained to me. I get it more. But I've also known that the people who would explain it to me tell me that the Traveler is the most boring fucking character in existence. So Yeah, they have no personality. What They're the just hell a stand-in for the player. What the, the hell player. is that name on the popular page? I mean, they have, a, they, have a, they have a little bit of personality, Hold but no, they're no, no, pretty no. much just the audience I'm, stand and You can the, project went, personality onto them. I went to the Genshin wiki to look at their designs. Popular pages... Alicino, that is a coffee. That is a coffee. I feel like I've seen that name before. And this was my exact response. Alicino, that sounds like a coffee. <laughs> so like, so like, I guess this can work as an introduction to Genshin. From I and, asked, I asked a friend to like an idea of it. Basically, it's like the the idea is they both go to different nations to learn the elements. That's basically the main thing, and they both have like, and both Avatar and Genshin have similar worlds apparently. Just like Aladdin, who would have thunk it? Gumball, that was I mean, never yeah. going to happen. It could have happened. Oh, don't, 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 but don't, yeah, don't, uh... don't the man when he's down. I'm what so... the fuck's wrong? I, with I, just... I, 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 that kid, that kid that came out of me instinctively. I didn't mean it like that. You should have. You know, you know, I, I did just look know... it up. It is Lumine, Lumine. And you know, it's so funny to me, man. This is the second time that Genshin Impact has came out of nowhere and taken something. First time with Sonic Frontiers. What? <laughs> he's he's that. talking about the Game Awards. Who cares? Oh, that. Who cares? oh I remember that. Oh, that was. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I, I, it's like okay. Look, I under. Uh, okay. Look. I understand the appeal of it. I understand why people don't like vibe with it, but like just be normal about it. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say about the matter. But yeah, that's no, yeah. No, that's no. The, that's I, the. I, I want I want people to be normal about this. I <laughs> am obviously. I I I was not in a good mood when I saw it, but that's not against the matchup itself. It's about what I didn't get, and we already got so much. So I don't want to act so overly entitled. I, I mean, really yeah. want to establish. They're, they're, I, I still want to establish enough, this, but I, but I, oh. creating enough titles of their own for themselves that you don't need to worry. You could be as entitled as you yeah. want, and you'd but be I, least but entitled. I... Uh, Ang versus uh, Traveler Hater. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't, I don't even hate this. I, I um... still just can't get over the fact that they changed the character. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's funny. You, look at, name. you got this lineup of like matchups, ignoring Mahito Shigaraki. You got Kredo Sazura. That is the runner up on two different polls. You got a rematch that you get to vote. Yes, you get to vote. You got Ash versus Yugi, <laughs> one of the longest requested matchups of all time. You got Simone versus Kyle, which was also on one of those polls. You got Ruby Marker, that is the last episode they have, like aside from Wiz Boomstick, that they have confirmed in the past would happen, and the one that they reaffirmed is the only truly confirmed one, and then you got Ang versus the Traveler. I mean, like, even, <laughs> I know, even the even I know the moderation team, a big even game, the moderation team was like, but it's just funny. Yeah, I, it, it no, was even <laughs> even the moderation team was going to be like, listen, we can't just keep doing top ten matchups the whole way through. We we, we yeah, were fully that would time. probably not be a great. Um, Is that if they all happened, the what, of death battles? If they all happened, what's left? Just imagine they put yeah. Joe Giorno there, and you just see the pledges like drop rapid pace, like yeah, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> like no the team the team's just like like as soon as they show up you're going to join the team suddenly like please stop donating please <laughs> call it call it tinfoil if you want but just because of the tier names i genuinely think joker Jorno might be one of the unnamed matchups here I, yeah, because I, that I is the from, from. it's the it's the only tier name that doesn't correlate to someone who's been on death battle i think it's funny how like how like up and down the the tiers go in terms of like the the this is versus debate of brain rot at its maximum, but like the way like you oh start boy. at Super Saiyan, it's like okay, <laughs> that's pretty fucking strong. You go down to Avatar, um, okay, fine, I guess. You go up to Bankai, that is stronger than the Avatar state. You go to Worldbreaker, that is <laughs> like the strongest thing, <laughs> period. Oh no, the second strongest thing here, period. <laughs> You go uh, you, down to Fierce Deity, you, which I don't even think Fierce Deity is as strong. You skipped as... a couple by accident. 
But oh, yeah, right I, right. I skipped. I skipped sage mode. You skipped sage Bar mode, goes at the sage mode, and you then ultra fuck. instinct. You can, you can debate what's strong between Barkay and sage mode. Then it goes to ultra instinct, which yeah is stronger than everything before it. Then world breakup that is stronger than ultra instinct. Don't at me. And then you go down <laughs> to golden, not golden experience requiem, just golden requiem. Um, <laughs> interesting choice. And then. I mean, you do go up from Golden Requiem to Fierce Deity, which is, I'm not even sure if that's stronger than Sage Mode. Um, go ahead, debate. Then you go to White Phoenix. And that That is the strongest thing here. That is the strongest thing here. And then you go down to Super Tengen Topper. That is, that is the third strongest thing here. That is true. To be um, fair, Super Tengen Tapa definitely looks the coolest. It definitely looks the coolest. I like <laughs> I like all the galaxies being chucked around in the art. That's cool. Alright, alright, hold on, hold on. One left of um, 15. So, Someone get in there. If, if he... Do, get, get the last if one. If he, like... I can't afford it. Let's say we take this a bit at face value, these tier names at face value. Do you think this would also semi-confirm a Zelda matchup? No. No. Because we already got Fierce Deity in There's the show already. One character uses Fierce Deity. He's been used twice in one of those times he had it. Yeah, I mean, like, they also confirmed... He, uh, no, his, he, the reason he's saying uh, that is because the only uh, one that's never been on Death Battle or is upcoming uh, is Golden yeah. Experience. Yeah, I know, yeah. but also but also there was an avat, but there was an Avatar tier, and then this happened. You're thinking too but much. we already had Avatar. Like, we have you Ultra Instinct here, do I expect... To we right, have no, Ultra no. Instinct okay, here, do let, I expect let's, Goku? Let's tinfoil this. We have Super, Super Saiyan, Bardock, done. Avatar, Angus Traveler, done. Bankai and Sage Mode, Ichigo, Naruto 2, that's what they're expecting from the rematch, <laughs> done. Ultra Instinct, well, uh... We, we uh, just, yeah. alright, so listen. We're, we're, so, uh, Beerus so like, is coming back. Done. I would, I... World Breaker, oh god. No, no. <laughs> Golden oh Requiem, god. Joker Giorno, uh, or maybe it's Domon versus Master Asia, because that's what's listed next to it. Fierce Deity, <laughs> Young Link versus Lucina? I don't know what he has. Uh, Tor Tormund from Neopets. <laughs> White <Done>. Phoenix. <laughs> White Phoenix. Um, Phoenix versus uh, Harvey Birdman. Done. And then Super Tang and Topper. <laughs> Anyway, what were you trying to say, Gumball? Yes, yeah, speak. Stuff like Ultra Instinct and White Phoenix, I would not qualify because they literally just happened. I would, but everything Again, else. I, I, yeah, no, I don't count anything. It, what Nemesis said, basically, right, anything right, that like, has already been on the show, I'm not counting. I, 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 I would, go, I would count uh, stuff that happened on a show unless it's season ten. If if we were to do this hypothetical, so like World Breaker, I would count it, and I would think Hulk Silla uh, would come to mind. I, I'm sorry, yeah. Nemesis, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, no, no, no. I, I I don't think that's what this is. I I think if those are at all meant to be hinting towards anything, I I don't think every single tier is in seasons 10 or the kickstarter lineup i i don't think that's what this is fierce deity by itself in my opinion deconfirms that because i do not think that's likely whatsoever yeah they're gonna bring link back i feel they would use specifically wild link and guess what he doesn't have uh a w yeah. against the tarnished i'm pretty sure <laughs> that's not what we were going for, but that is, that is something he doesn't have. Yeah, he doesn't have a W. Well, he has a. I was gonna say he doesn't have a W against any of his matchups. He does have a W against Aloy, but like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? What would possess you to do that? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Anyway, um, so so we're finally done the first category. Right, yeah, that was the first podcast. category. Good. Yeah, that was <laughs> that... all news now. <laughs> How long has this been? This has been an hour and forty minutes. Wonderful. Nice. All right. All for All one right. segment. Oh Isn't that fun? Fucking... And uh, I'm now, not going to put that... anything on screen but, except like my thumbnail to self promote. Because I, it is so. This is the danger of tangents, people. 
This is the yeah. danger of new. This is this is the danger of news. News is dangerous. Stop stop making stuff. <laughs> Reporting is hard. <laughs> I'll have you know, I had to play Fall Guys Fortnite to entertain myself. Look what you guys All have right, done. Alright, shut up. Viper, go. <laughs> I choose you. Next up is Versus Void. Uh, this, uh, we got, um, this one I wanted to highlight. This, this isn't a, this isn't particularly a series, but it's a ton of Versus animations that I've been seeing a lot on Twitter by this really talented animator that I wanted to highlight, Sun. They've been doing a lot uh, of versus Sun Sun dot MP4 Sun dot MP4. I trust the full moniker, or don't trust it at all, fraud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll post a yeah. I'll post a couple. I'll post a couple in the chat for stuff they've done. But this person ha has made really, really well done anime animations. Like uh, weird matchups aside, I I mean I, I mean they're commissions, so like I guess it's not that surprising. But these are really, really well made. I'll just uh, share a couple here so you can see. Woo! Um. Okay, the next thing we have to look at. Oh, I mean, I mean, I guess it's like if you want any comments. <laughs> I don't have. I, I mean, like, um, I'm not gonna. Comment you make very stuff. good stuff. It'll be on screen. You can look. Uh, I like. Uh, yeah. the, the, I have to, I have to put Ren into the goddamn Oni. with us, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Look, guys, there's two red <laughs> circles down there with faces. Oh, well, one's got a face. The other's got parts of a face. Uh, uh -huh. I, I, I don't I don't have the budget for the rest of it. Look, I have two living, <laughs> breathing Mr. Beast red circles in the video. I don't think I I don't think <laughs> I'm breathing. I can't tell for sure, man. I'm kind of yeah, scared. Awesome. All right, the next one is Omniman versus Pink Diamond. I I don't know who Pink Diamond is. Um, I'm gonna be perfect. I know that, um, she's a big fan of that of the second episode of Epic Rap Battles of History. Oh, dude, I don't even want to make a Lily Orchard reference. A lot of stuff that's come out has been fucking awful. But anyway, yeah, I'm um, Steven Universe. Yay! <laughs> uh, um, this, this, I, I I can only imagine I have they felt. One yet. I can um, only imagine how they felt when the Omni Doc got revealed and then they revealed this. <laughs> Look, I I well, you 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 I would, I would imagine might that notice no, a trend. Uh, for the next few of these, I probably will say a lot of I've just not seen this, and some of the previous ones because <laughs> I've been just spending all my time working on Mewtwo Cooler for you fuckers. So I just <laughs> have not had the time. And watch and 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 watching Kamen Rider. Don't act watching, don't act like that didn't play a role. Yeah, in it. like I watch Kamen Rider when I'm like rendering a video or something like that. I I've, I've finished a Ruby Abridge thing that I'm having so much trouble uploading. Um. And I just keep re-rendering, and it's like, oh, it's rendering. I might as well watch some Common Rider, because like, what else am I gonna do? Yeah. See, see, from someone else anyway, who um... also makes videos and renders them out. And no, no, I, I, I get it. He gets me. He understands. Yeah, I get it. We're on the same like, wavelength. Bro. Even. No, even for me, I do a lot of artwork, and sometimes I multitask and watch videos while I'm drawing as well. So, right, so I, I go, anyway. I go even one step beyond, I guess. Oh no! Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes so when anyway. I play Xenoblade, I'm doing those incredibly boring side quests. I'm just like, I'm just gonna watch Kamen Rider and let this basically autopilot itself. This is no fun. This is no effort. Just get this over yeah. and done with, and just watch <laughs> Kamen Rider Black. So anyway, um, this serves now I one hundred percent get it. See, this is this me. serves Finally as like a this series that understands me. This is serves <laughs> as the mid season finale for a fan battle. I've been trying to say that for five goddamn minutes. I like how XVX is um, the URL. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> that's funny. That's silly. Um, oh yeah, it's, I, it's followed sorry, up directly. It, it, actually, by... no, I'm not. I, Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I'm interrupting again just to say how, uh, yeah, even right now, I've I've been drawing this entire time. Because, I have been uh, playing fake grand order. Thing to multitask with. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm multi I'm multitasking too with Fall Guys. <laughs> uh, so I think I think this is about the anyway, yeah. music moment because I don't want to say stuff about something I haven't seen unless you want to 
talk, of course, but like that's optional. Um, I <laughs> really liked the emotion behind this one. A lot of this is like a validate a validating feeling for me because this has been a matchup that I always thought was better for Nolan, and I think this video did a good job showcasing why. But even on its own, taking that context away. I think it's just like something you gotta see, even if fan battle isn't a thing that relies on visuals all that much. Just just watch it anyway. Pussy. You won't. No balls. I definitely I definitely <laughs> should to, check like, it out. Me with uh, you? uh no. <laughs> I, I, I just I, like I, threatening I, I, people. Speaking of like Nolan matchups, I <laughs> I already know there are people flocking to that one Biffweed video talking about look, it's the matchup that you wanted them to do. And I just think it'd be really, really funny if he prefers Omnilander as an episode. Oh, by the way, Origins in the episode. Yep. I disagree. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, we're moving on to Anyways, the music next moment. <laughs> Alright, so there have been a lot of music moments lately. Was, you guys no, need to... okay, so not really. Was, not was really. The instrumental for Super this set or last time? Yes, this set. This that's set. something that I yeah. really noticed, and I thought, "Ooh, that's interesting." Yeah, it's yep. pretty cool. Because it, it may, yep. part this of me, like, this this is just, just tinfoiling of of my dumbass brain. It makes me wonder if, like, the previous group they were with that distributed them, just did the music didn't let them do instrumentals. Maybe that's been confirmed. Maybe um, honest, Brandon might have told me that in DMs at one point, and I just forgot. Uh, but if we get instrumentals. For all the vocal tracks from Death Battle, that would be really cool because we know they exist. I know of a couple that are probably going to come out, but I don't know about all. I I just I really want Their Wolf to come out with an instrumental version of Wings of Iron. Dude, I want an <laughs> instrument. I want an instrumental of Mighty. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, that would be a great one. And uh, let me actually check what else got remastered. I didn't. I didn't keep notes. I know Thunder Shroud did, because of course I love that song, so uh, I had to listen to it immediately. No, Thunder Shroud. That Thunder Shroud remaster is so damn good. I I'm really like that. Realizing um, that Thunder Shroud is my favorite the, thing to uh, do with Blake ever, and that's interesting. Oh, Strongest Alive, right? And 100%. Yeah, Strongest that's Alive. An and Reverse yeah. Rose. Oh, of course, Reverse Rose. The the album did that art, didn't she? The <laughs> album cover for the album cover for Strongest Alive. It's so cool, and it went from being like too Deku centric to being too Asta centric, and that's so funny. <laughs> I actually, I actually <laughs> don't think it's too unbalanced. You have the light yeah, have the of and one for all, like, and you have the lightning. Yeah, I mean it's not too unbalanced. It's you have Asta's lightning great. and that's the true. Asta is literally that, that's there probably why. It, that's that. And yeah, that's probably why it feels like that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of one of my complaints has been rectified, and now it's in the opposite direction. Of course, if you want to look at unbalanced, I mean, Thunder Shroud, um, it's new art. There is a there are grim on it, but like they, that's definitely not what draws your eye. Yeah, <laughs> it is a flaming wall with uh -huh. a bunch of titans uh -huh. and some grim and swords. And uh, what one hundred one hundred percent is interesting to me because it captures the webcomic look of Tatsumaki more than anything in the actual episode did. <laughs> and then reverse rose it's also just Dead such a it's also very just like psychedelic it's very like mob, mob psycho. psycho gets oh yeah it's definitely I, I more mob psycho least... than uh one punch man but i think mob psycho has a more distinct I, 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 look i'm not than anything tatsumaki's i'm not with. complaining i'm not complaining that's probably my favorite album cover that we've gotten I, for I a like, while I like just the big ass broccoli that one too but i uh Oh wait, I actually have broccoli right in front of me right now. Isn't that funny? Yeah, yeah and I also, do I don't know about recent, have... but I did Bro. finish Mob Psycho Season 3 after years of just putting it off for no reason. It was peak. It was awesome. Bro, yeah, you know I wouldn't I say that was recent, but... I'm no, really curious anyway, no, when they re... Hold on. They haven't redone Ikari yet, so... How are they going to change that art? Is it going to actually happen? Oh, it, it, it is going It is, is going to get done, though. Is better, I hope that there's something <laughs> in the art that actually has to do with Hulk Beyond the fucking green dots that still look like Broly, and also, if anything, reference Hulk's fucking death. Looking at actual, like, tracks Brandon's put out, um, I, I, this is an interesting name for one of them. 
uh, some su- some super serious punch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I wonder who I want. I don't know where that name came from. I'm gonna be real. That's uh, it is a name. You know, what? Uh, it is a name. It's it's a slightly funny name. It has a, a somewhat funny of comedy to it. Yes. Um, <laughs> I just like I j- One Punch Man Jacks don't miss. That is. Is my that is my uh that's my thesis my verdict. <laughs> you know, Goku ver it, uh still ain't being Goku is technically a one punch man track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my point stand. <laughs> uh the next one is Invasive Species, the vocal version. They Tyler went unnecessarily hot on that. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why this one goes so hard. It's it's just like it's a it's a rock song. I like that. It makes me go eh, and I like it's a that's a yay sound. That's like a happy sound in Australian. Uh, so like it, it was it's a, it's a good track. Uh, I, I, me, me like Thank it. you for the translation. <laughs> You're fucking welcome, mate. <laughs> uh. I, I don't have the list up, but yeah. Well, after Invasive Species, it's We Will Be Heard. Spider Punk versus Sonic Underground. What a fucking matchup! Like what? <laughs> what a fucking matchup to, 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 to just drop out of nowhere. It's funny. And, <laughs> and, and ha- funny. And uh, dude, and ha- and have the one minute melee composer in it too, man. Yeah, that's just because. Just solo near the end. That. Whoa. It, it, oh. Yeah, it's a good track. <laughs> But it's they still been never found them one on. day. It's been one that I've been waiting for for a while. I think I think they should make a vocal version and just start it with triplets born, thrown away. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just just they should pay the extra Bro. money to hire uh, Jonathan and make him do it in his like epic speech voice, like the, the epic speech singing he does for like like, like for um for, like uh, the songs he do. <laughs> Dude, game. I can't wait for it to just be. I can't wait for it to be like a roast battle track, like uh, Scott versus Danny Sex Pain, and it's just gonna be like, "You never found your mom. You never found your mom. You never found your mom. You never found your mom. She's dead. You never found your mom." <laughs> Peak. Never forget, Spirepunk has a super thick accent too. Well, um, I never I'm found not my mom, but accents. at least I'm not never... British. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So Damn. we can move to them now. Um, yep. And we have four here, actually more technically, uh, starting with one final kill, which is Rita from Kindergarten Wars versus Haro Sakamoto from Sakamoto Days. And don't let my knowledge of those characters trick you into thinking that I have any idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the cover art for that one. It's, it's, yeah, the cover, um, the cover art's nice. Um, so, if I were to guess what's going on, I said, I think people are having wars in kindergarten way too early. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Should it, wait until, nice like, track. middle school at least. Yeah. Listen, once you learn sex, once you learn sex ed, you're good to go. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, Why is that? We're going to move on to the next track, which is Death Through Four. Goro, Goro, Go, some dickhead from Persona Five versus Light Yagami from Death Battles Colombo versus Light Special. Episode. Oh, a catchy, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this this one's so fun. Just a little scenario in my oh head. Oh my god! Because that, like those two interacting dude, would be gold. See, Akechi my... is probably one of the few people I could genuinely see finding out who Light is in a reasonable time frame. Cause, yeah, because no, of like Persona to me, and the Metaverse. Dude, like, to me, like, I love debating fan of these versus Light. Like, that's one of the most fun debates I've had in this community. So Akechi versus Light, that's like my favorite Light matchup. Somehow, they, I found a way... 
I found a way to find someone else, uh, like for white. That isn't even culture. I, 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 I <laughs> they're still saving me. No, like, just imagine, like, his, pers like, hit the way his, uh, I forget, like, like, you know, like, his inner world in the Persona world, what's it called? like, the metaverse? Something? Yeah, in his palace? His palace, yeah. No, like, imagine, like, how light, his palace would look. Light, dude, Light sees himself as God, dude, that's just a shame I got my Tensei dungeon. No, unironically, that would probably be one of the harder dungeons because of how highly he sees himself. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. no, that's the cool thing. Dude, Shadow Light would be like, I am God! And Goro's like, I've seen that before. Okay, but like, what's he gonna say when <laughs> Light writes down your mum in the Death Note? <laughs> Joke's on you! My mom's already dead! Joke's on you, I, I Why really are you crying? Mom. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. I, ki I killed my mom too, and you don't see <laughs> me fighting about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why does why does like Bison got all these like really fucking raw quotes, and then you look at his like main competitor in the fights in the fighting community in the fucking fighting game scene, and it's like Shao Kahn here with like nothing, just no source next to what Bison's bringing, none. No, <laughs> no, insane. bro, like Bison, Bison could cook the most meanest for all pizza ever, and Shao Kahn could say you suck, and his delivery is what gets him the win. Yeah, he doesn't have that delivery anymore. <laughs> Nowadays, his delivery is like, You suck! You stupid I you don't suck. Like you. suck! I promise I'm not just projecting <laughs> with this voice. <laughs> <laughs> I am no longer Shao Kahn, not the conqueror of anything. I'm I, no longer I Shao I Kahn. I'm Shao Kahn. The Why significantly let me lamer in. version of Shao Kahn. I have no idea I why no Liu Kang let me continue existing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer Shao Kahn. I'm Connor from accounting. <laughs> That's what Liu Kang should have done. Is Le Mask the shit from which is Lloyd? Mask of Twilight. Lloyd, Lloyd Forger versus, versus the Spy. The spy. Uh, yeah. you can pronounce it red. Uh, well, I am oh, estimating what I think it's pronounced as. As being able to pronounce French. Do it. <laughs> Again, this is what I assume it is. Le Masque de Crépissue. I took French in high school, and I dropped out before the end of the first quarter because French is a language that bothers me. French okay. is what I took in uh, high school, so I mean, maybe I have a little bit of an idea. I don't know. Uh, it's a neat. Trick. They don't have a, they don't have a word for the number eighty. I. <laughs> anyway, point is Lloyd Forger versus the spy from TF2. Mm. It is pretty neat. It's a lot of people... matchup, matchup wise, it's just yeah, it's fine. Lot... I suppose a lot of people, a lot of people say this is Lloyd's best. I just do not see it. No, we need to get I don't think it's Lloyd's best, but I think it definitely dude. works. Dude, like, I don't care how crazy uh, Spy Family could get. I'm just thinking Spicicle GG. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking, by that logic, um... by that logic, any backstab from Spy on <laughs> any character just one shots. I don't think you want to go that route. That's not true. Mario yeah. just the, use the... one up. He just go, woohoo! <laughs> it's a me! And then what fucking the? him. You just jump on him. What the hell? Ah! What's the hell? <laughs> oh no! The French! Boing! <laughs> <laughs> because, because, because Italy and French are just mortal enemies. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's just, maybe that's historically accurate. I don't know. You haven't said much, Hyper. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on the French? Next segment. We're yeah, why would you talk about the next one? Yeah, the next segment, Paragraph Pasta. No, I no, thought. no, no, no. You missed, you missed, you missed the track. Uh, no, I didn't miss one. I didn't miss one. You missed, you missed it. <laughs> I missed it. Hyper, 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 hyper. You killed him, dude. You killed him. I guess he could not show enough speed. I win. 
I <laughs> anyway, um, so I show speed versus queso and shake the universe. Hyper can't hyper can't edit this out of the video because Nemesis. So <laughs> yeah, tracks are right. <laughs> we can. No, this track, this track is so fucking funny, dude. I like it. It's though. so funny. I'm not crazy about it. it, it, it it's good. <laughs> good. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's uh, accurate. It has a fart sound this effect. This is how the reason because it felt this, like it. This is why the Kickstarter got funny to me. And people waste their money on stuff like this as a joke. <laughs> no, dude, dude, people keep doing you this. You think this is a joke? A joke? No, people yeah, keep doing you're this. You're a joke. <laughs> so people, people keep doing these jokes because whenever like Aaron or Brandon are approached with a confession like this, they're like, "Okay, I'm locking the fuck in." <laughs> All right, now we, go, now we Chuck can go to paragraph pasta and talk about okay. Chuck E. Uh, Chuck Chuck e. Cheese, Cheese versus, versus Cool Cat. Five Nights at Freddy's, yes. Cool Cat yep. would destroy <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. He will use the Jesus beam, and Chuck E. will just die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this blog, which I wanted to include here for a while because we were trying to finish in and we finally did and then all that stuff with DP came out after but uh Cora Delson I helped work on this one uh okay. this is a matchup and yeah, this is a matchup I really enjoyed and I was down to help because I had a lot of opinions on the matchup in terms of how the debates evolved over time um I know for a while um people cited Delson because he was just faster and had better abilities that can just negate Cora instantly and and I, for a while, I did fall into that, but uh, as soon as, like, other Avatar arguments started coming up and me diving back into Infamous for Cole versus Alex and looking into Delson as well for info as well, I started to change my opinion a little bit. I wasn't too sure on Lightspeed stuff for Delson, but it was ultimately fine anyways. But regarding who I thought won, I ultimately did side Korra, and that's what the majority of people on the blog cited. Spoiler I know alert, a couple. What? Spoiler alert! If anyone wanted to actually look at the blog. Oh yeah, it's by uh, Media Ma Media Mania versus Blogs. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, real I. Quick. Hi, Bird. I have a question. Okay. Yeah. Um, were the second son pre-order bonuses accounted for? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To be fair, though, that was always super funny. It is. It is. <laughs> I like. I like. I like how we all knew. We all knew. <laughs> Everyone knows. <laughs> Everyone knows. Still don't understand how why they decided to do that. Anyways, no, um, because I've it was been... funny. The, the developers probably just thought it was funny. Yes. Bro, bro, imagine, imagine like uh, Delson's about to lose and he's looking in his pocket and he just feels so, so something like plastic. He's like, I have a source of neon. <laughs> 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 that's the way he gets his neon power <laughs> in the fight <laughs> Dude, in neutral territory where is he gonna find it <laughs> I mean, you know, death battle does like to analyze weapons armor and skills and you know <laughs> this falls under armor it it's, does. Protection. it's it's protection <laughs> Literally speaking, this falls <laughs> under protection. Okay, but back to the debate really quickly. Um, ultimately, I did Psychor because, like, I am a little skeptical on even if it could work, just given the vague descriptions of the abilities, but just to get benefit out that they can negate her durability, I feel like just her having more options. I hate saying this, but she could use her abilities anytime she wants. Like, she can use multiple at the same time, while Delsa can only use one at a time. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, but uh, um, there's also just the matter of the fact that her she just has better AOE and can control the battlefield much more easily than Delson, and just one shot at any point while she's in the Avatar state. Well, Delson has to constantly rely on Neon, and well, we don't know exactly how Delson uh, fights because it's honestly all, all mostly up to the player. He still has like four options, and one of them's concrete. If he ever switched in that would just basically be an it's lost because she could just crush him instantly and the other ones aren't too useful because he doesn't have the speed of neon and well with the exception of satellite but that's only when he uses a sat with the exception of video but that's only when he uses satellite but 
it's ultimately for me it just came down to Korra's ar arguments she has like a broader range of when cons while Delson only has like one real way to win just hard focusing on using Mion basically which ultimate which is why I cited Korra in the end neat matchup though uh, I think it's really cool but where is he gonna find a Neon <laughs> Just, just in a hypothetical city where it's like it's just both their territories. Although I do kind of like the aspect of like the time difference. Oh, the difference is that like he he can have his on the go, so you know. <laughs> I, I am so glad I was able to add something to this. Good job. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> two B versus Alita. Two B versus Alita. By that one guy that quit versus Blogs, and they certainly didn't live up to that name. Wait, <laughs> that's their literal name? Yeah. Yeah, that's the name realize. of Blog. Like if you, I didn't yeah, realize if you, if that you, was their actual if name. You look at their birth certificate. That's all that's written. Mm -hmm. It's their actual <laughs> name. I'm not sure how how more explicit you can get. <laughs> honey, <laughs> honey, I have a name for our son. We will ensure that he's going to be a success in life. Fuck you, Dad. You can't control my life. Yeah, fucking sixteen years later. <laughs> Crazy. We gave him one job in this world, Susan. One job. You gave him one job. I wanted a future for him where he could okay, anything anyway, he wanted. Let's stop making anyway, fun yeah, of the name. It's a, it's a <laughs> so yeah, 2B versus Alita. Uh, this one, uh, it was two different sides that ultimately ended up tying in votes. Uh, All right. Um, so based on what I two... saw. Based on what so I saw. It... I... So is it so is it two B or is it not two B? That's the question. Uh, no, no, that's not the question. Yes, freaking no, no, yeah, no, no one, no one asked that question. If you want to know, it's Yoha number well, two type B. That's her full name. Okay. <laughs> see, see, not everything has to end in an insult. Or, or, or it could be so glad. <laughs> Penis. All right, we're Why? moving on to the next segment. To be honest, I'm surprised you didn't. To be honest, I'm surprised you didn't want to say more. And I don't want to start any arguments. I just do not agree with the Grun scaling. That's all there is to it. Uh, official ordeal. Okay. Oh, cool. Again, Five nights at Freddy's. Five nights at Freddy's. Five nights at. This is clearly the not death battle curse because I used um... them and I killed them, and now they're coming back for revenge. They just don't know that I don't play Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I will always be back by Daylight. Alright, 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 no, no. Dead by Daylight's like the small fries, but what about the clothing uh, crossover from Markiplier's clothing brand? That's huge. Yeah. I didn't even hear about that second <laughs> one, that's fun. That's I also, that's there was also crossover. Castlevania too, with uh, with like a really cool looking Dracula in the cover. You know, as art. opposed to all the times Which, that Castlevania uh, Dracula looks like a loser. There are occasionally times he does look like a loser, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Very I mean, rare, many but sometimes. To go with those? Yeah, let me find the image actually. Hold on. Uh it yeah, was... it's 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 as blunt as it is. Five Nights at Freddy's in Dead by Daylight. I, uh, I remember when like the official FNAF accounts like pay attention to someone's Twitter for announcements and then a bunch of like parody accounts and real accounts were like, Oh my god guys, FNAF is coming to this place or that place. Dude Dude, my favorite one was the discussing films parody accounts. It's like Death Battle has confirmed FNAF in Death Battle. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't uh, checked what what characters are coming in. I gotta imagine like Sp Spring Trap. Probably it's just yeah, probably Spring Trap. I imagine. Have they announced the characters? Or <laughs> Spring Trap is the correct choice. Uh, I don't. It should be Spring mm, Trap, no, and if they're gonna do multiple, it should be Spring yeah. Trap and Freddy. Yeah. Uh, I don't uh, think Freddy's available. He's deployed in the Middle East right now. Yeah, anyways, this is what Jagged looks like. He looks I do so feel like he pretty looks sure so they could make it Foxy instead of Freddy, just because he is the guy. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think or once they Freddy gets a dishonorable... And make, it, make it Circus Baby because she's seven fucking... Did you say a dishonorable... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a slip of... It was a slip of the tongue, but he is just a... He is just a boy. <laughs> I, I, I have been... So I have been watching uh, Star Trek Next Generation again, and because of Worf, I now just associate everything with how honorable it is. For no reason. Just no reason. There's, 
I, I can't even explain it. It's just, <laughs> imagine you walk around your daily life and you go, I cannot use the cutting board. It would be dishonorable. And you just say that out loud. <laughs> just leave it at that. And that's it. Funny. <laughs> The reason that I we, cannot. the reason that we use toilets is because the sink is not an honorable receptacle for the piss. We must use the toilet to honor our ancestors. Does that make any sense? Body, I'm trying. Yep, body, I'm trying to take a shit you. in here. <laughs> the sink is I an even less honorable receptacle for the shit. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm not. I'm not even trying to do that. You just walked in here. You talking must about use honor. the toilets, I, or uh, perhaps. If you wish to use a slightly less honorable means, a bush. I I'm using a yard I'm using a yardle like your average New Yorker, man. Get the fuck out of here. That is an affront <laughs> to the honor of all humankind. You cannot shit in the urinal. Get it is not called a get out of... It is a urinal. Get <laughs> Get out of my house. Why do you have a urinal? Why do you have a urinal, you in, your have a urinal in your kitchen? I stole it. <laughs> you stole it and then installed it. Why? What why, plumber why you possibly gotta judge? dishonor themselves enough to do this? Why are you gotta judge how I live my life? At least I don't break into people's not houses. You. I am judging the plumber that has dishonored themselves and their family for ten generations for installing a urinal in the kitchen. Well, I'm judging you because I'm this judging you because. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I think. <laughs> Yeah. You want anyway, to know, death you death know death if you want to do Picard versus Thrawn, you are a wolf voice. I will do it for you. I will voice Lieutenant Worf. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you want to? No. You want to know honor? I'm called NYPD. <laughs> I think. I think you know. I know a lot of people wanted FNAF and Fortnite, but I think that's idea. That's but instead, games. you know what we are getting in yeah. Fortnite? Fall uh, guys. Fall guys. You can have a full yeah, guys wearing you? an Among Us, right? You can do that, I imagine. You can, you can no, you can literally just play full guys in Fortnite, and it honestly plays better in Fortnite, which is insane. But I imagine, hey, hey, Gumball, why, why, why don't you try running up the fucking course with a full guy outfit? You think you'll actually, make it, to the, you think you actually make it to the end this time? Yes, I made it to the end. Oh, good job. See, it was, um, it was but the power I... of full guys. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's it's good. a really cool edition, and that's probably going to be like, another new no, I, edition no, I to love this that. giant I love that. key bit. I, no, I love that fucking question. Like, why are you trying to run up to the top as a fall guy? Because that's how the fucking game is played, idiot. <laughs> because if you're going to be a full guy, you need a high enough place to fall from before it looks cool. Exactly. Me and my, la me and my last moments in Elon Musk. You, you, you don't want to be the full guy that does a ruby and falls like five feet, you know? You want you want a full really <laughs> Yeah. Uh there's also um the next season, which is gonna be a Marvel season yeah. on the horizon for um, Fortnite. Live we, events we have a... Yeah, the live events uh been true the live events has like a countdown right now okay, in, in just a couple of days that's gonna go off. And um, also a bunch of other skins, <laughs> like crossover skins like Android seventeen eighteen are on the way, X Men, <sighs> Deadpool and Wolverine. Alright. Also uh... Cyclops, Cyclops, Colossus, and most importantly, Jubilee. That's cool. But no Professor X. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we also he's, par might... he's paralyzed from the Not waist always. down. What do you what, do you <laughs> want? Do we you also... want him to be a back bling? What what's the play here? <laughs> you can add a we wheelchair. Also might get, uh... You can add a wheelchair item. <laughs> we also might get a, wheel... a, a doctor do. The... We also. Bro, the wheelchair mythic, and you're at Mount Olympus, and there's nothing but stairs. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we might be getting Doctor Doom in the next season as, like, the main antagonist for that, probably. Which is also really funny, because Robert Downey Jr. and Doctor Doom. And if Didn't it's just, we already have that? It's a Battle Pass skin, yes, but Deadpool and Wolverine were also Battle Pass, and they just made new ones that are just better than the Battle Pass ones you can never get anymore. Yay! So, yeah. I'm fine with that. Is that all? Oh. Is that we done? Yeah, that's that's basically it. All right, we're moving we on to the last... last phase, the final form, which is talking about a Red Runner thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a Red Red Runner Red Runner is the guest of honor. It's not like like we've never collabed with this guy before. Who are you actually? I have collabed with him. Anyway, the match on this uh, channel. 
Don't, yeah. open the, don't ask the question. Who are you? <laughs> the matchup Big that I chose for Monica us Monica today. Uh-huh. He agreed. Well, anyway, matchup I chose for us today is the one I alluded to earlier. Shadow the Hedgehog versus Vincent to Valentine. I, so, uh, Valentine is flattering, but I'm not gay. Uh, obviously, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth just came out, so top of mind. It. I say just came out, but it was several months ago now. Still have Either way, six, it, six it, months. It, is, it six takes, months. It takes up so much space on the PS5. I just, I'm not deleting. Like, I'm not moving all that shit off the <laughs> PS5 onto an external hard drive just to play another six of a game that I already own. Third. It's going to be in three. But yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying six because like the, the first one like ended halfway through the first disc of Final Fantasy VII. So like, yeah. if, they, if they were going to adapt it at the same pace, they, they'll be about a, a total one third of the way through now. I'd have to hope that Rebirth like sped up the pace a little bit and didn't include as much Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, yeah. Shit. I'm I'm pretty sure they've explicitly said that it's going to be in thirds, and um, no one no one cares about original Final Fantasy VII spoilers, so I'll just say that they end it around the time of uh, the ancient uh, city. I'm realizing how long it's been since I've actually played seven. <laughs> I, the problem is I went. But to, yeah, I around went the time that you uh, uh, around the, the time of the I, ancient city events. I went to give another play, and then I found that I don't actually have a PS One memory card anymore. So I need to get one of those, and then I can play it on the PS Two. Well, I could be more explicit in case you don't remember when that is in the game. I think I remember, but I do remind me. Uh, that's Aerith. Ah, yes. Yeah, that that's that. where uh, <laughs> you could have honestly this... just started with that, but yeah, yeah, that's where this one um, caps off more Weirdly or less. Enough, when you said it, I actually thought you meant like it ended right as Sephiroth got the black materia. That's uh, where my mind went. I mean, that's for some reason. I mean, that's kind of right. Kind of, but like, okay. uh, yeah, they they just add that little tiny bit extra. I okay, hope she swears, so anyway, she swears um, again. Anyway, game, right as she gets stabbed. She Vincent gets stabbed, Valentine is not gun, playable. Fuck. Well, neither was Red Vincent Thursday. Valentine <laughs> is not play playable yet. Uh, he's going to be playable in the next installment. Is Red the next and yet? final installment. Oh, yeah. Fucking finally. Yeah, Red's playable. Uh, the only uh, party members that are not playable are Vincent and Sid. I just, I just remember. But now, both of them are the in the game. In remake, in the first one, there's the, just the scene where Kate Sith is there. No explanation, no elaboration. Never gets brought up again. He's Absolutely. Just there. It's like, imagine you haven't played Final Fantasy VII. You look at that, you go, "What the fuck is that?" And then you end the game and you go, "No, seriously, no, what the fuck is that?" Because by this point, by by this point in remake, you've never seen anything like Kate Sith. You yeah. didn't even know this had fantasy stuff like that in it. Yeah. So imagine just this cat with no explanation. <laughs> like, what is that? Uh, Why is that? Where did it go? <laughs> when is it coming back? You end the game. What was that? I want to go back. Explain. <laughs> did that rhyme? You know did what's funny, rhyme? though? I, I will uh, spoil this extra bit because Kate Sith doesn't show up that late into the game. Um... Yeah, uh, he doesn't even acknowledge that he saw that. <laughs> so I have no idea what the point of that scene was. But hey, it was a nice shot. It was It was a nice <laughs> shot. It, it would have been so cinematic if there wasn't some fucking cat there in the way. <laughs> Make it go, what the hell? But yeah, Kate Sith never even acknowledges that scene. It was, it, yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, Shadow. Shadow has gotten... <laughs> Shadow has gotten Alex Mercer powers. It's just me. Oh, no, wait. unironic. If, if, there were, if there were any good time to talk about this matchup, it wouldn't be around now, honestly. Unironically. <laughs> because, yeah, Shadow Generations is on the horizon. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Shadow, Shadow is also getting his uh, by a manga publisher that 
specializes you, you, on. You cut out. out. What, what is he getting? A manga. Cool. I, don't nice. know. Um, I didn't know that. Get, it's, it's by a company that focuses on a lot of gag-based manga, though, so... Oh, good. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, I know. But you're right. Yeah. So, like you said, Shadow is getting new uh, Alex Mercery powers. I don't think we really know the full extent of what those are going to be quite yet. Um, but basically just delving into his alien DNA. And Vincent, in case, I guess, just to mention... Chaos is the main driving force behind this matchup. There's this video you can watch. Both. It. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I was just Shadow versus Vincent. I just thought it was this fucking thing. The doctor just walks past Vincent. I fu- I pissed on your wife. That means she's mine now. You what the fuck? Would you what? <laughs> <laughs> Hojo. <laughs> you mean Hojo? <laughs> What the fuck? Is that Hojo's deck? He would fuck you. Hojo would do that. <laughs> like he would do that. If he thought it would if he thought it would benefit him, he would do that. Listen. It is kind of crazy to think that if Vincent had just slightly bigger balls, Sephiroth might not have been born. <laughs> All right, but like Sephiroth's omnipresent, so this just kind of implies that Vincent would have been the father. What? <laughs> That's, That's not how that yeah, works. That doesn't make sense if you know this series. Anyway, who wins? <laughs> I mean... That's the question. Um... That is a difficult question, because Sonic stats are annoying. I but at the same don't time... I buy anything above maybe Galaxy for Final Fantasy VII. Really? I just don't. Oh, sorry, for Final Fantasy. For sorry, Fantasy I thought you were implying Sonic. For Sonic, I, 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 I think, I think, I think like, that's, that's my bad. That's my super bad. Blatant. <laughs> I thought you were saying Sonic. It, it's like multi-plus where I'm... That, that's the point where I start to be a little unsure with Sonic scaling. Um, but that's because I'm not knowledgeable on all things. I think using imaginary world for scaling is the funniest fucking thing you could do. Do I believe it? Is the People have made the... People have made the statement on uh, certain materials being able to essentially negate durability. I think gravity materia is a big contender. Uh, not to mention, uh, he can do his own kind of chaos control using time materia. Huh. You could have a repeat of Link vs. Cloud if you really wanted to. Have them both freeze each other. Just they talk. They, they need smack talk while they're doing it. <laughs> Don't try to copy my time but, freezing, you faker. It, definitely, if, definitely, if definitely, if you're ca- if you're capping around Galaxy for uh, FF7, then definitely Shadow has an advantage. I can say that. Yeah. Although, uh, yeah, he does. Time Speed, though, uh, I don't know. I listen. I will say one thing: Rebirth adds so much. St- stupid stuff uh into the scaling arguments like I mean, you bro, have no idea Rebirth added a lot of stupid stuff in general so like if rebirth didn't add a lot of stupid stuff i'd be disappointed oh no bro, when like... i say i i mean for versus stuff gumball what he said earlier wasn't a joke <laughs> no i know i know that part i don't think which i don't think vincent shouldn't scale to that I uh, not yet. <laughs> I'm just going to say hitting an omnipresent character doesn't make you scale to being omnipresent because there is no physical way you can hit an om- you can not hit an omnipresent character. If there is a way you can swing an attack that doesn't hit an omnipresent character, they are not omnipresent by definition. Mm. That's just how I think that what, just I think what people hard. I think what people are expecting is for Sephiroth to basically start lording over the entire multiverse that he has opened up which makes sense uh, if that happens he loves to suck sephiroth off <laughs> i say as a fan if that of happens 
then things will get real crazy. But again, Shadow at the moment has uh, be Fall Fantasy VII. Shadow at the moment has more experience that we know of. Although uh, Vincent has better training, he was literally trained as he a Turk. Actually trained. Uh, yeah, he's actually trained. Well. Arguably, Shadow probably was too, but not for as long, because he is a government agent as well, um, in the present tense. In the present tense, yeah. Maria. <laughs> uh, I know Vincent has a lot of different guns. If I'm being real with you, I don't know if any specific gun Look, changes anything, I'm so I'm just either, going to ignore that. I don't think either of their guns will matter at all. No, 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 I mean, I'm not gonna no, no, Vincent, he uses guns as his main bread and butter, to be I fair. I mean in the sense that it's no, not no. going to give either of them more of a chance to win. No, guns, yeah. guns, do, guns do not matter. The Omachow launcher, though, that's huge. <laughs> Bro. Uh, just I was so, waiting. Oh. Just, like, just like Shadow about the fire weapon, he's like, it. just so you know. He was arrested for medical malpractice. Who was arrested? Hi, I'm Omic. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, Shadow has uh, better arguments for stats generally, especially if you don't take uh, the high end, like Dissidia scaling. Dissidia scaling is the big thing that I see for uh, FF7 that gets them into the multiversal ranges. Vincent isn't um, there is. Uh, Alright, so like, it's not Dissidia, but. Um, Gilgamesh. Well, I wasn't thinking of that either. Um, it was how Final Fantasy 7 and 10 have connected cosmologies, so the live stream could be way bigger than what we're accounting for. I'm pretty sure the live stream is explicitly only for the planet, though. At hmm. least the live stream that the, the Final Fantasy VII cast interacts to. with. The live stream you could argue them scaling to. Yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt other places in the universe having their own live streams, but I'm pretty sure the one that we're familiar with from FF7 is specifically for that planet. Listen, I could keep connecting cosmologies because Namra doesn't know when to shut the fuck up. But for <laughs> simplicity, for, for simplicity's sake, let's just say that seven and ten are connected and call it a day. The pipeline goes deeper. For simplicity's but let's not. sake, let's say the shadow just takes AP. Okay. Yeah, and s speed is probably. If, I, if I'm being real, I haven't kept up with how Sonic speed has changed. But last I checked. He was probably faster. Yeah. Listen. Which means he probably wins. I I think Shadow just wins via stats. I think I mean Vincent might be harder to kill. Like actually put down. And Vincent has way more versatility because of all the different materia he can yeah. put on. Can we finally get a 3D is, Sonic think, episode? I don't think gravity will matter now that I think about it, because that does, like, fractional damage. Right, it does. Uh, like, it like, would not be oh. able to do a... I, it would not be able to deal a killing blow. I've taken 99% of your vitality out. Yeah, well, 1% of my vitality is still higher than all of your <laughs> AP. Oh, fuck. I... I am <laughs> well, bullshit. I'm, I'm calling a timeout. I am the ultimate. Can someone get me the scaling on that? Can you pull up the Versus Wiki page? What the fuck? <laughs> this is I didn't agree so, that I, I'm, uh I'll just say that Shadow wins because I say so. I am the ultimate. I don't even need one percent to show you my truth. Oh man, what show what's his crystal What's his crystal girlfriend gonna do now? Maria. I've won for you in your name. I think. I don't know. The writers don't know what they want from me. Hashtag no and smile. <laughs> the, but, mandates, the, the mandates, Maria. The mandates. They called me. You know, I I, I made the <clears throat> Crystal Girlfriend joke, but, like, you can't even say that. Vincent literally never even got that far in that relationship. <laughs> you... you, you, you... <laughs> I, I love this. the, I love Kyle, the Kyle is back I there love... in the first segment of the video. Just still recovering, man. 
can't you can't you can't make this. No, dude. <laughs> no, dude. Just <laughs> no, dude. Just the fucking. I love the implication here. You find you find a woman. You get to know them a little bit. You get intimate. You get you go on a date. You crystallize them. <laughs> Well, the good news is throughout, throughout all He this, wasn't the one who did it. In fact, in fact if, if I'm being totally real, I actually don't know what... How did she get crystallized? I never actually... I'm gonna I, bring I, I don't know this that. convo back <laughs> on track. This, I think the one thing we can say is for all the characters to talk today, in terms of relationships, at least Simone the Digger is... Oh, wait. Uh, no. <laughs> in the spin-off! Well, or not even the spin-off. In the crossover game, well, Kratos, he had a happy ending. Kratos didn't turn his wife into a crystal either time. <laughs> no, it no, 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 turned her to ashes. <laughs> Both um, times. Well, Literally. Oh, and Laura, uh, one at least. We don't well, at least know got who Bowser his... fucked. I... Well, um... Eggman got to keep his daughter, yeah. Yeah, but like Bowser, uh... Bowser's gonna walk up to the fight like, Look at me, I've got ten children if you count Koopa Kid. That's not even ten times what you have because yours is AI generated. Congratulations, you know how to fuck yourself. You know what I find? You know what I find really funny? The voice you were putting on sounded more like yes, Eggman. I, re than I realized. I realized while I was doing that that that's, that just sounds like Eggman. <laughs> all right, all right. Did, 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 did you hear my rebuttal? Did you hear my rebuttal? <laughs> no one asked you. I said congratulations. I said congratulations. You know oh, how to fuck oh, yourself. Actually, Ang, Ang, <laughs> is <laughs> Ang's the one that died in his case? Does that? Does I mean, that like, count as a W? Uh, I mean, like, I, I'd say that's a W. I'd say that's, it, it was yeah. natural causes. Uh, that's right, more of a double right. than everyone else okay. here. Okay, so <laughs> after all that, how are we gonna end this? Oh, we don't. We just hard cut. I'm just, no. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play yeah. the the four guys among us song, and that's the whole discussion. <laughs> yep, that's, yep, that's yep, that's all we need. Yeah, we had four guys among us here, but this video is so long already. It's two and a half. Yeah, minutes. just cut. It's I, a I, stupidly I, long. Four guys <laughs> win. Just, the yeah, strongest just... four guy is literally a bomber man. Uh, the strongest, the strongest uh, fall guys are in uh, Fortnite and yeah, like Fortnite Fortnite that, whole, like, that law thing where it's like it's like equalizing yeah yeah Fortnite. Stats. So it, it goes. To, I, it goes I'd to, like they, to, they need to show. They need to show up in a comic before they can say exactly. that they get. Full All right, Fortnite that's the end of the scaling. video. Bye, everyone. Say goodbye, Red. Oh, bye. Ah. Uh,